Okay, now let's move over. Steve Eiserman of the Detroit Red Wings and a member of Team Canada. And Steve uh, sitting out this game tonight uh, here at the Saddle Dome in Calgary. And uh, I'm sure you're caught up in all the action there. Uh, uh, what do you feel the players are thinking right now? Well, I, uh, you know, I'm sure they're very nervous. You know, I know I'm you know, really nervous here. I'm not even playing. And uh, you know, the guys really worked hard. I know they're tired. But, uh, you know, they're digging down deep for that little bit extra. And, uh, you know, they're going to do their best to win. Steve, I was out there uh, watching uh, you watch the game there, and you really get caught up in it, as we all do, because it's a very emotional pace. Well, that's for sure. You know, uh, you know the pace of the game. I was sitting down by ice level watching, and uh, you know the pace is just unbelievable. The guys, how they're playing, and uh, they're certainly getting caught up in it. The fans are really into it, and uh, you know it's very exciting. And, uh, and I wish I was out on the ice right now. It's a proud moment to, to be a member of this Team Canada squad, and I, I know when you were selected, uh, you admitted it was quite an honor, and uh, with a star-studded lineup like that, uh, not everyone can play in a game such as this. Oh, that's true. You know, uh, you know, we got a lot of great hockey players here, and, uh, you know, not everybody can play except we had a couple extras, and, uh, you know, the guys are doing the job out there, and, uh, you know, I can't complain, you know, being here. They're out there doing it, and, uh, you know, I'm just cheering them on. What's been the reaction? Uh, this is really your first taste of uh, international hockey at, at this level. Uh, in terms of uh, fan response, and uh, there has been some criticism leveled at the team. Uh, you as a rookie member, uh, how do you react to it? Well, uh, you know, naturally there's going to be criticism from the fans. Uh, you know, we've uh, you know, played uh, subpar in a few of the games, I think. Uh, you know, we know we, can play, we could have played better in some of the games, but... Uh, you know, the fans have been honest a little bit, but, uh, you know, they pay their money to come to come and see the games, and, you know, they can say what they want. And, uh, you know, we're just trying our best now, and, uh, you know, things are working out right now, and it's been pretty successful, I think. Steve, I think it's a case, too, of the players just shutting all uh, the outside activity out of their minds and concentrating on this game because they are certainly prepared, and it's just been an outstanding uh, contest. That's right. Uh, you know, the players, uh, you know, haven't really thought too much about what's going on around them. Uh, you know, for the last couple of days, all they've been thinking about is this game, and uh, you know, they're not going to let anything bother them. What anybody says or anybody does, uh, you know, they just want to win this game and you know, win it for themselves, win it for the country, and uh, everybody's working as hard as they can to do that. Well, we're all going to be anxiously looking forward to that overtime, and I know you will be as well because you want to get into some of those uh, final games <laughs> against Team Sweden. Oh, well, that's for sure. You know, uh, you know, we've got a couple more games against the Swedes if we win this one, and uh, you know, that'd be more experience. And you know, I'd certainly like to get a chance to play in those games and. Uh, you know, I think the guys are working hard, and they all want to play in the, you know, the finals and win it, and, uh, you know, just see what happens, I guess, out there in overtime. Okay, Steve, thanks for dropping by. Thank you. Steve Eiserman, a member of Team Canada, an outstanding rookie last year in the National Hockey League. Keeping in mind that it's obviously a big game for both teams involved. And there's the starting roster for Team Canada. The lineup as we begin this hockey game. Significantly, Robinson and Coffey are paired. The line from the Islanders of Bossy, Janelli, and Sutter. Vladimir Mushkin in the nets for the USSR. He's played all but one game. And there are the officials. Mike North, you just heard from. Jan Tadacek is the bearded one there from Czechoslovakia. He's garnered a lot of respect in this series. And Kevin Collins from the United States, the neutral officials. Pete Peters in the nets for Canada. Zubkov and Kazatonov are the defensemen, and that big line is reunited. Larionov missed the last game with a slight knee injury. He centers the line with Makarov and Karutov. So we're just about set to go here at the Olympic Saddle Dome in Calgary. And there is Glenn Sader. Biggest game I think he has ever coached. That is very safe to say. He has seen his team have its ups and downs over the last two weeks. There have been some good times and there have been some disappointments. Well, now's the time to put it all together. Uh, Canada had their backs against the wall against Czechoslovakia and they came out with their best game of the series. Let's hope they can do it again here tonight. Victor Tianov of the Soviet Union. His team has just kept right on winning. Undefeated, actually, in major tournament play since the loss to the United States in the 1980 Olympics. Soviets back in their own zone now with Zubkov bringing it to center ice. He's checked back there. Tonelli tried to pass it rink wide and hopped over Karukov's stick. Now Robinson moves up. He is checked from behind by Larionov. Now against the boards. Tonelli in there along with Larionov and it's Makarov now to the line. Makarov to the corner, slides it into the slot, and it was knocked down. As coming back on, they play was Bossy. 
Now here's Karutov hoisting it over top of the net that bounces all the way back out to center ice and Kazakonov. Back in his own zone now. Soviets make changes. Kazakonov out at center ice. That pass intended for Yashin. And it's knocked back in by Middleton with a player trapped. And we'll have a faceoff just inside the blue line. Well, a couple quick changes right off the bat. And Canada's going to have to do that the whole three periods. You have to have 30, 40 second shifts. Maintain that, that pace throughout the game if they're going to stay with, with the Soviet hockey players. Wayne Gretzky out there now. On the line with Middleton and Goulet. Buck is shot over the line into Soviet territory. In the corner of this side. And it's Yashin digging it out and he brings it to center ice. Gretzky doing the checking job there as Smetlov gets it on the far side and shoots it in. Behind his own net, Raymond Bourne. Into the corner, Goulet's back there. He is, takes a hit, managed to duck most of it from Smetlov and the puck is cleared to center ice. The back checking there of Yashin. Canada once again to the line. Kevin Lowe working into the corner. Lowe trying to clear to the side of the net. It hit the side of the net and is cleared back out through center ice. And down into Team Canada territory. And we'll get the icing as Gretzky goes back to pick it up. Early in the game. And this is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. This program is broadcast under rights. Granted by Hockey Canada and the NHL Players Association. It's protected by copyright and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or reuse of the program without the express written permission of the CTV Television Network and TV Labatt is forbidden. Minute 28, gone in the first period. No score. Face off. And it's brought around behind the net there by Stelnov. In the corner, it's flipped out in front. Mushkin handles it and leaves it to the side of the net. Out comes Barnikov. And center ice is intercepted by Huddy. Soviet well, we off, but Anderson comes across and makes the check. Now against the board. Starikov there to the line. Puts off. Couldn't get free as he hit the line. And Canada. But the, throws off Anderson's skate. On the center ice now. Gartner moving up. They've got a lot of speed out there now with Messier. Now we've got some pushing and shoving going against the boards. Gartner along with Mikhail Barnikov. And they're going to toss them both, which is, I think, a really the correct decision. Yeah, there'll be double minors there. Mike Gardner's fighting along the boards, trying to get the puck loose up to the floor. The Soviets just standing in his way, trying to hold him off. Gardner's just putting lots of fight into it there. So at 1.59, Barnikov and Gartner will go off. Two-minute penalties. And so there'll be a little skating room out there. Well, the Soviets, they don't mind playing four on four or three on three. They, they got guys that can handle the puck, but well, the, for, the forwards come up, or the defensemen come up on a play such as this, and act as a third forward uh, to cause a three on two. Now to Zubkov, back in his own saw to head. Robinson takes it to center ice. Now Messier shooting it in, and Canada will make a change as it's cleared in. Messier heads for the bench, and Bossy comes out. Robinson remaining out there now. Teams hurt even strength at center ice now and down over the line comes Shepard up. And it's taken by Sutter. Sutter with Bossy on the wing, but he gets it out to center ice. Coffee getting it in for Sutter. Sutter stopped up in the corner as he takes a check from Zubkov behind the net and cleared off the boards past Robinson and out to center ice. Collected at his own blue line by Coffee to Robinson. Robinson at center ice. Sutter gets it to Robinson. Back to Sutter at the line. Sutter moving into the corner. Stupop on top of him. They clear it in behind the net now. Out in front, Coffee clearing it out there. He's playing very deep on that play. Robinson. Robinson passed it up onto the stick of Vasiliev. Vasiliev shooting it back to Makarov, and here he comes. He's got great speed. Look at the move, and he hit the line. Goes to the backhand, and Robinson was right on top of him. And put it in against the boards. Karutov now back out for Makarov. Makarov against the boards. Gretzky on top of him. Into the corner he goes. It's flipped behind the net, and Larry Robinson has it. Robinson off the boards, near the line, and it's caught to center right. Team Canada, carrying the puck over the line as Michel Goulet takes the hit as he put the brakes on. Kazatona throws it to center right. Bork, low, through center right. Ilya Ladinov, clearing it right back again. Ray Bork's got it. Bork just off the boards. Gretzky has to go back with it now under some four checking pressure from Ilya Ladinov. Out comes Team Canada with Bork. Center ice shooting it in. Anderson moving in. The puck comes off the back boards. 
And covering up is Moishkin. He holds for a face-off deep in the Soviet end. There's been great tempo in this game. The Canadian team tonight, they're going to try to throw as many pucks at Michigan as, as they can to try to make him force and handle it in the crease, maybe cough something up. That's one of the stronger points in, points in our game. Scrambles around the net. You see a lot of goals scored that way in the National League, and they're going to be throwing everything at the net and having a guy going for it. Well, there you see Glenn Anderson, 54 goal scorer last year. Messier in the corner now, along with Anderson playing up front. The penalty has now expired. Puck is loose inside the zone, but the Soviets control only to lose it. Gave it away right at the line as Anderson comes Now Messier going. No check in there on Stelnoff. Now in the corner, Messier. Stelnoff checking on him. Also in there is Gartner, and they'll hold it in and get another face off in the Soviet end. This is Levant's Canada Cup on CTV. 17 gone in the period. We haven't had a shot on goal yet. Peter Stosny out there. There's center line along with Brian Bellows. Face off. Bourne is on the line as well. Bourne goes after it in the corner. Rolls it in front. They try to bottle up that area in front as Darrell was mentioning and has failed to get it through. Now down to the line comes Yashin. Yashin shot right on. Rebound. Stosny cleared it into the corner. Let off. Petloff stick handling with that puck near the line. He falls, gets the puck into the corner. There's a shot from near the boards by Semyonov. Semyonov gets it again. He's checked out of the play by Peter Stosny. Circling with it now. This is Petloff, his shot. In the corner, Huddy behind the net. Here's Doug Wilson. Good to see him back in the Team Canada uniform. He had the knee injury. He suffered in the Czechoslovakian game. At center ice once again. Backhanded in by Huddy. Team Canada making another quick change. This time on defense as Robinson and Coffey come out of it. It's Robinson coming off the bench and picks it up. Robinson at center ice. Clears it to Coffey. Coffey over the line. Has to reach back and then clear it behind the net. Sutter hustling after it. Sutter trying to get it in front. Fossey. Fossey in front. And Tonelli was there. Just couldn't get his stick on it. Tonelli again. Trying to get it in front. Fossey is there as well. Fossey back up near the line. And it was deflected by Vasiliev down the ice. Back to get it will be Coffee, and we'll get another icing. And the Soviets icing the puck a bit. This line, this, this line of uh, Bossy, Tonelli, and Sutter, they've been the most consistent line of Team Canada throughout the series. They do nothing but work, 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 cough, make the other team cough up pucks in their, in their own end and uh, create scoring chances. And uh, they're doing that again tonight. Now, uh, Moishkin, who will forget that one, that game, the shutout, decided the Challenge Cup of 1979 in Madison Square Garden. A shock when he was put into the net in favor of Tretiak, and he registered the shutout. Yeah, I was there that night. That was a disheartening night for all of us NHL players, but uh, he played very well. They came on throughout that series. I think in the second half of each one of those games, uh, the NHL All-Stars did not score a goal, so that tells you the type of conditioning these hockey clubs are in. Well, we're cracking the ice down to the left of Mushkin. And Victor Tionov, former defenseman in the Soviet Elite League, or A Division. We've got sort of a wave going here. It's a little ragged looking right now, but we'll assume it'll pick up. Well, this guy's super fan. He does a good job of getting the fans going. Check set to drop the puck. And you see Vladimir Kogan out there wearing the face guard. He has got a nasty cut over his eye. 25 stitches he suffered. Here's Robinson now. Here's his shot. And he hit the post. Now back to the corner is Coffey behind the net. Sutter. Sutter Tonelli there as well. Cleared out to center ice now. And the Soviets on the march. Getting the return pass is trying to cut. Over the line. Rolling on the play is Kortsov. Puts up behind the net, Robinson. Warnikov checking on him. It's back near the line. Coven backhanding it in behind the net again for Coffey. Along the boards for Bossy. Bossy, the rink wide pass out of center ice that was behind Tonelli. Tonelli flipping it to the line. Trying to catch Bossy breaking over the line. But it's hooked out to center ice by Zubkov. There's a shot. Flips over top of the net and up into the crowd. And we'll have a face off once again. No score in this game. This is Levant's Canada Cup on CTV. Face-off will be to Pete Peters' left. The Soviets with Shabelov out there. Mayev, kind of a checking line they've got up against Gretzky. 
And Vasiliev is there as well. A cousin of the great former Soviet player, Valery Vasiliev. And a last minute addition when Germanov was hurt early in this series. Now here's a steal right at the line. A shot of the save is made by Peters. In behind the net, now third. Soviets controlling it in deep. Gretzky. Now digging it out in the corner is Bork, but he can't get it out of the zone as Kervukin keeps it in. Now Goulet, he got a caught in the skates. Team Canada running around a bit. Now cleared in front of the net. And it's low. Finally clears it out to center ice. Bielia Alexinov ahead. Backhanded it over the line. Middleton in deep after it now. Middleton trying to hook it out in front. Goulet trailing on the play. Middleton's there as well. Rolls it out in front. It goes right past Gretzky. The Soviets bringing it out to center ice once again over the line. The drop pass. Vasiliev dropping it. Now trying to work it in front of the net as Shipilov. Wound up in front of the net. And there's going to be a slashing penalty called on Team Canada. And I think it is on Peters. Pete Peters is known to take penalties. Uh, he's an aggressive goalie playing against him in the National League. If you get in that crease area, he takes a whack at you. Here you see the Soviets standing in front bothering him. Peter takes a crack at him and gets him out of there. Let's hope it's not a costly penalty, though. A penalties, and Noeth now talking with Peter, slashing, and no doubt about it, on uh, Gimaev, who was outside the crease. Middleton is going to serve it. So Canada goes shorthanded once again early in the hockey game. Penalties like that you cannot afford to take. Those type of penalties have cost Team Canada throughout the series. Uh, they've taken them at bad times in the hockey game. Let's hope they can kill this off here. Back to get it now as Sukhkov in his own zone now. The penalty killers for Team Canada. Sutter along with Tonelli, Robinson. Bringing it down and flying over the line now. Ready and set. Here's a chance for Loyola. Be shot by the save. Oh, a tremendous save is made by Peters. Behind the net now, Makarov. Makarov out to the blue line. Zubkov keeping it in. Here's his shot. He's wide of the net. Kazatonov. Kazatonov in. It's Larionov. Larionov back to Kazatonov to Zubkov. In for Makarov. Makarov. A shot. It deflects off the glass. And without the helmet there is Karukov. In the corner now. Karukov makes a big hit from Robinson. Robinson goes down. The puck is underneath him. And the fans start to come to life here in the Olympic Saturday Dome in Calgary. Perhaps spurred by one, the save by Peters, and two, the aggressiveness of the Team Canada defense. Well, there was a great save by Pete Peters, and that's the type of goaltending you have to have against the Soviets because they're going to get those chances. Here's Larianov all alone. He takes a look, he makes a little deep, and Pete keeps his leg outstretched there. Fine save by Peters. What a great move by Larianov. Just before that, Larry Robinson, Frank Kutov, right in the slot area. Canada's throwing their weight around. Well, they're playing it aggressively, and they have to do that. There's Victor Teodov, 1-12 remaining in the penalty to Peters. And the faceoff will be deep in the Team Canada zone. They have made a change, have the Soviets now. They have Semenov out there, along with Yashin. Yemayev also on a correction that Svetlov also on the line as the puck is out of center ice now. And it is Karavulkin. Karavulkin getting the puck now. He's number five for the Soviets. Karavulkin, a red five pass now. Down over the line comes Yashin. Yashin cutting in front. Yashin looking for a man. Drops it back for Karavulkin. The shot is off the stick of Messier. It was moving out on the play. And it was batted ahead. So we'll have a face off. Well, it's getting a little rough out there as we look at Semenov. Anatoly Semenov, big fella at 6'3", 196 pounds, and one of the youngsters coming along, 22 years of age, out of Moscow Dynamo. Well, they're out there now on a line of players from Moscow Dynamo, including Svetlov and Yashin. Off and Canada wins the ball. Low taking it around the net. Kervokin keeping it in at the point. It's cleared into the corner. They're working in front. Good move there by Bork. He clears it around the boards and containing it at the blue line is Bilialet Dinov. Soviets have been inside the Team Canada blue line. Not got a midair. And the face off this time outside the blue line. The place Canada threw the puck around the boards. They have to throw a little harder than that. Soviet defensemen spread, spread out there a little bit. They Pick the pucks up and keep them in there. You gotta 
Shoot that puck as hard as they can. Well, we know where that young fellow's heart is right now. 32 seconds remaining in the penalty. Bossy and Bourne out there. Robinson stays out. And Colvin, Skvortsov, and Varnikov. Now, correction, they, they leave the Seminole line on, on the ice. Canada controls the face off. They won the draws on all of this. Very important part of things early in this game. The center ice now. There's it right back inside the zone again. Pervo can have to go back for it. Pervo can around the net. This side is Billy Letdinov. He's checked in against the boards. Winds up in Pervo can stick behind the net now. Pervo can starting out. Five seconds remaining in the penalty. Seven off at center ice. It's stolen at center ice. Canada playing very well early in this hockey game. Robinson. Penalty is over. They killed it off. The crowd appreciates the effort from Team Canada. Now over the line comes the Soviet Union with sports off. His shot is blocked by Peters. And he holds on for the faceoff. Good goaltending here by Pete Peters. Canada has to be careful in the mid zone not to turn those pucks over to the Soviets. They can change the war from defense to offense and open up those scoring chances. This is the Bats Canada Cup on CTV. Wayne Gretzky out there along with his line mates. And he'll face off against Vladimir Coben wearing the face guard. This is the Gorky line, as they like to call it. It's a line that is used mainly in North American tournaments for the Soviets. They don't bring them over the World Championships in Olympic play. They're a little too rough, and they take penalties. They like them in North America. Now out at center ice now, leading the rush over the line and working for the corner. Flip pass in there for Huddy, and it's bounced wide as Goulet cut in front of the goal mouth. Goulet jamming in against the boards now, trying to kick it free. And Gretzky's in there as well. Comes out to center ice. After that puck is Barnikov. Arnikov over the line, hopped over his stick. Now he's looking for a man in front. Clears it into the slot. Starkov shot it wide. He was four deep, and the puck is cleared away. Now Barnikov at the line, but he's checked, and Canada moves to center ice now with Goulet. On its center ice, dumped as Gretzky. The puck winds up in the crowd, and we'll have a face off. Eddie Westfall is down below. Eddie, what do you see? Ed Westfall down here at ice level, something that's become quite evident here in this hockey game. Team Canada, so far through 10 minutes of the period, have not lost one face-off, something that goes a long way to controlling the play. Shots on goal, the Soviets eight, Canada three, but I don't think that really describes the play uh, early in this game. We've had that big save, of course, to, on the power play by Peters, but Canada has been very, very aggressive in this game. They sure have. There's been some great action, and they're throwing that puck towards the net, and somebody's going for it. No score in the game, and we've played exactly 10 minutes now. And the speed line is out there again. Gartner, Messier, Anderson. Taking the draw for the Soviets. Idiot Yemayev from the face off against the boards. Yemayev going after it. Clears it to the board corner, at least uh, to the point, and it's kept in right there by Kevin Law. Behind the net now. Messier's in there. Give him a little room, and he can really hurt you. As we saw late in the game against the Soviets the other night. Now Canada, Anderson shooting it in. It went off a leg. And it's cleared to center ice. Vasiliev reaching for it. Fork moved after him. Vasiliev recovered and cleared it ahead. But that lead pass bounced over the stick of Sergei Shepilev. And it's called on the icing. So it'll be in the Soviet zone once again for the faceoff. Well, it's a smart play on Canada's part. Uh, uh, when they're in the Soviet end zone, if they have to take a face off, they should take it because that's one of the stronger areas of our game. And when you have guys like Doug Wilson back there shooting the puck, you can win it clean, you're going to get a cheap chance to score. Well, there's Alexei Kazatona, big fella, played in that 1977 World Junior Championship in Montreal. The Soviets won that championship in the final against Sweden. Four members of that team moved on to the Soviet national team. Bounces in, turned around the boards by Karabukin. There's a point, there's a drifting shot that's wide of the net, and it's cleared out to center ice by Karutov. Here's Coffey, back inside his own zone. Robinson, Robinson, backing up. Here is on line, Robinson starting to lead the rush now. Here he comes. That's center ice, that lead pass now off a leg. Bourne hustling after it, trying to find a man in front of him. He can get to him, but he is forced all the way around the boards by the checking from Bilyaletinov. Now Larionov clears it out. 
at center ice. Karutov, he overskated the puck. Makarov is there. Larionov now hustling through center ice. Larionov, Karutov going for the area in front of the net. The puck is chopped wide of uh, Karutov, and out comes Poppy. Poppy at center ice. Poppy to the line is checked away from him. Bellows trailing on the play, brought it in offside. We'll have another face off. 11:26 gone here in the first period. We have no score in the hockey game. The shots on goal. Soviets eight, and Canada one. Or three, rather. Well, there's Brian Bellows. He hasn't played for a while, and uh, I'm sure he's glad to get back into this lineup. There's Vladimir Moishkin, Moscow Dynamo. He's only had nine starts in four world championships. It's a little tough to crack the Soviet lineup when you've got a fellow named Trechak ahead of you, but he's number one right now for at least a while. Tell us there's a kid named Evgeny Beloshekin who's on his way, just 18 years of age. There's Doug Wilson pinning it up against the board. This is his second shift so far. Doug has suffered double knee injury, one to each, in that collision with Musil of the of Czechoslovakia. They missed a the game. They missed him. It's nice to have him back. They need him back there. He's got lots of experience, and we said earlier he can shoot the puck. The Islander line out there for Canada for the Soviets. It is Semenov along with Yashin and Svetlov. Wilson's got the puck out at center ice now. Tonelli, Tonelli trying to get it ahead and not able to see that coming towards him was Sutter. Semenov over the line. He shot it wide. Yashin on the far side, but it's dug out by Sutter. At center ice now, Tonelli. Tonelli flipping it in over the line. Taking it out there is Stelnov, but he clears it around behind his own net rather than going ahead with it. Yashin's got it out to center ice now. He stopped on the play. Now it is against the board. Starikov is there. The pass for Yashin went over his stick. Now he's got the puck and he's over the line. Wilson diving and he knocks him over behind the net. Sutter moves in. And out comes Team Canada now. Carrying the puck is Tonelli. Tonelli with Bossy. Bossy going in after that puck along with Zubkov. Bossy's got it behind the net. He's got Tonelli in front. Couldn't get it to him. Rolls to the side of the net. Then Starikov. Out along the board. Shepelev. At center ice. Bork. Bork below. Shooting it in. Team Canada making changes as Middleton goes in after that puck. Zubkov's got it. Along the boards for Tobin. Tobin's chased out of the play. Middleton knocks it out of midair. And that high pass gets it to Gretzky. Gretzky going in. Zubkov in on top of him. Against the boards, Middleton. Middleton. It's taken away by Bartikov. Cleared back in deep again by Goulet. Gretzky makes a good move and throws it out in front of the net. But there was nobody there to pick that one up and it's cleared down the ice. Kevin Lowe going back for it. No icing as it's cleared around the boards for Middleton. Middleton eases it out to center ice and Goulet has got it. Tried to get it to Gretzky. He didn't see it. And the Soviets come quickly right in back. Here's the Soviets with a quick shot right up on Peters. And he holds on for the faceoff. They've got no score in the hockey game. With 6.37 left in the first period, this is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Face off will be to Pete Peters right. Deep in the Team Canada zone. Gamayev moving in. And the face off, Peters risks it into the corner. Coffee's there. Gamayev four checking on the play. Also in there now is Vasiliev. And it's Canada bringing it out once again with Gardner, but he shot it off a leg, and Robinson has to go back for it. Robinson. Robinson clearing it to center ice. Fed back now, and Perbuchen will start up. He clears it in. Out of the net is Peters, leaves it for Robinson. Robinson around the boards now, and Anderson couldn't trap it along the boards, and it's cleared all the way down the ice. So the icing here is Perbuchen goes back, and it'll be a face off in the Team Canada zone once again. A pretty good pace to this period. Canada has to maintain that pace throughout the game to stay with the Soviet Hockey Club. The big saves by Pete Peters earlier in the game I'm sure have given the Canadian players a big boost. It's nice to know when your goalies not making those saves gives you all that more much more enthusiasm to continue on. You see those credits next to Perbuchen's name. He's only 28 years of age. And look at all the things he has done so far in worldwide hockey. Now behind the net, Gardner flipping it back. Canada just trying to get organized here. Now that lead pass, Gardner couldn't knock it down. Now he'll chase it in there. Mushkin comes up and flips it out to center ice. Canada will wait for Meats to get on side, and still trapped in there was Gardner. Anderson brought it in, so we'll have a face off again outside the Soviet line. Well, Glenn Anderson, he has had his problems getting it going here. But I think they've got 
the, the answer and the line they put together for this hockey game with Anderson and Gardner and, and Messier, they seem to be freewheeling a bit more than this team has really done uh, offensively. There's everything there in that line. Messier is a good playmaker. He's big and strong. And both Anderson and Gardner have lots of speed on the wing, and they can both score goals and make good plays. So we should see lots from this line tonight. Ray Bork shooting it in now. Starikov's back there. Starikov. Out of center ice for Larry on off. Back to Starikov. Starikov's over the line. Now the defenseman going in deep. Bork on top of him takes him out. And it's low. Just pokes it along the boards for Bossy. Bossy couldn't get it out. Still enough. Shot is wide. And on the far side. Out comes a long lead pass from Tonelli. Bossy has to send it back into his own zone. There's going to be a penalty here. Canada on the attack now. They've got the man advantage as the goaltender comes out. The shot. Oh, and it rolled right to the goal post. Moishkin had it go by him, and it rolled right to the goal post, and Moishkin covered up. This Moishkin, Moishkin juggled that puck a little bit. Well, Here's here comes the shot. Notice the Canadian players charging to that net after that puck is dropped. Off the outside of the post is where it happened, but it seemed to handcuff Moishkin. He just kind of got up there where he couldn't handle it. Well, we have a chance. We have a chance here on a power play now. Five minutes left in the period. Now's the time to get a big goal here. All right, Canada with its first power play opportunity of the hockey game. It is Makarov off for holding at 14.49. Soviets are very aggressive in their penalty killing. They do not give you time to set up behind the net like Wayne Gretzky likes to. They force the point when the puck goes out to the point when they force you to make a pass. Lots of times when you're not ready to. Very aggressive. Sometimes they'll have three men on one side of the ice forcing you to make a pass when you're not ready. Well, they've got Wilson and Coffey on the points. Goulet, Gretzky out there, and also Bossy. So lots of firepower. Bossy's got it against the boards. In for Gretzky now. Try to flip it out in front and hit a leg as Kazatonov was covering at the side of the net. Gretzky goes down. Now against the boards, Bossy. Bossy in deep. Gretzky's got it behind the net. Now they'll try to get something to set out in front. There's good shot. Goulet! And it was right in on Wishkin who made the save of the Soviets. Break out of their zone. Over the line now. Farnikov. He's hit in against the boards. Goulet digging it loose. Wilson's in there as well, and it's held for a face-off about 10 feet inside the Team Canada line. Well, there was a good try by Gretzky and Goulet. I don't know if Moishkin saw it or not. It just hit his pad and came right out. Here's Gretzky in behind the net now, taking a look. Goulet trying to get into the hole. Can't come much closer than that, Darrell. Gretzky in his favorite position, and you know that they had that was one thing that hasn't been happening. They haven't been getting the men in front of the net, and it looks like they're doing a little bit more of that. And now the Soviets try to make a last change, and Mike Noah says no. Well, the, That's so, it. The home game belongs, by the way, to the Soviets in this game. The Soviet uh, defensemen are very strong and tough in front of the net. They'll grab a hold of your stick, they'll push you out, they knock you off balance. It's tough to stand in there and to get in position to uh, get a good shot away. Well, Noah now is saying, get out there. You're taking too much time, so Sportsoff is out there. I think he wanted a better face-off, man, and uh, now he's saying, Billy Litvinov, you get back out here, too. Varnikov, Sportsoff, along with Billy Litvinov, and Kazatonov for the Soviets. Canada right now. Anderson out there with Middleton and Messier. And they'll operate from behind their own net now. As Robinson takes the pass along the boards out the center ice now. Here's Anderson. Anderson ahead over the line now for Messier. Who just wrists it in there. And Mushkin covers it up as Middleton moved right in on him. Another faceoff in the Soviet end. They'll take those all day the way Canada's been winning those faceoffs. Well, that's for sure, and that's the idea of it. Uh, not to give Mushkin time to give it to his defenseman to clear it out of there. To force him to freeze it and take that faceoff. He just took a mouthful of snow there. <laughs> cool him off a little. Respect there. <laughs> Vladimir, Moscow Dynamo. All right, let's see. There's the there's the snow. That's a good good bit of it too. A load. A dump truck came down on him. Oh, a little extra there, which wasn't necessary. Now we got.
got that crack again down beside the, the net, giving the linesman a bit of a problem. Yeah, on Tata check. Well, the ice Douglas is very the ice is very thin here. I've skated on it a few times since I've been out in Calgary, and uh, very thin. And uh, the tempo of this game, the guys cutting, uh, cause them to cut it right down to the cement. So Robinson, yeah, we'll see Michigan again get his load of snow. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> 114 left in the power play now. Goulet to Robinson. Robinson trying to get it back to Goulet. Goulet traps it against the boards, feeds it in deep now. Bretzky in the corner, back out to Robinson. He tees it up, shoots it in there. Bouncing Fox. Bossy's after it in the corner. Also there is Billy Alitinov. Back out to the blue line, Robinson. Robinson getting it in. It's over Bossy's stick. In the corner, Bossy. Bossy behind the net for Gretzky. Gretzky with Goulet parked out in front. Now Bossy moves in there. Robinson comes in. I think he hit the post. Robinson. Robinson behind the net. Now Gretzky. Gretzky controlling it back there now. Robinson's pinched right up along the boards. Heard in front of Bossy Fan. It rolls wide of the net. Gretzky. And it pops free in Karutov. Out to center ice now. Larry on off to Karutov. And he's forced back as Team Canada recovered very quickly. Now Karutov, stick handling at center ice. Elia Letinov shooting it in. 19 seconds left in the power play. Out at center ice they come. Anderson to the line. Anderson dropping out the shot. Like Gartner. That one blocked at the goal mouth. Gretzky's in the corner. Also in there for the Soviets is Gimaev. Cleared along the boards. Gartner. Cleared out through center ice and back down into Team Canada territory. Wilson will go back. The penalty is over. Wilson stopping up behind his own net now. Ahead for Coffey. Coffey up on the right wing boards. Coffey a rink wide pass. Anderson backhanding it in. Messier was way offside on the play. We'll have a face off. No score in this hockey game with 2.53 remaining in the first period. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Team Canada has Stasny out there with Bourne and Bellows against the line for the Soviets. That is centered by Yurik Gimaev. Over the line now, leading the Russia Stelnov. He stopped, and Kevin Lowe comes away with the puck. Behind his net now, Stasny comes back, but Lowe elects to hold on. Now feeds it off the boards. Out to center ice it comes, but Bourne couldn't get free. Back in over the line now is Shepelev, and he rolls it in front of the net, but Bourne is back. Bourne lost possession of it at the side of the net, but Bourne covers up. Raymond Bourne. Out to center ice, Bourne backhanding it ahead. Picked out of midair, Bourne moves up and flips it in. Stasny's in there for checking. Cleared for Zubkov. Zubkov cutting across ice now with Bourne giving chase, and Zubkov hits the line now. I do. Feed it off on the wing for Shepelev. Canada right back again with Bellows. Over the line, Bellows. Bellows with Stasny. Bellows shoots it! And Bushkin on his knees makes the save. I love what I'm seeing out there tonight. Team Canada playing with a lots of emotion. They're getting more chances tonight than they did the, the other game against the Soviets, and they're pumped up. Bushkin's struggling the puck at times. Maybe not so sure of himself. Well, Team Canada has had the last six shots on goal and is now even at nine apiece. 1.59 remaining in the period. Sutter with Tonelli and Bossy. For the Soviets. Semenov along with Yashin and Svetlov. Back to the blue line, there's a shot through a crowd that's wide of the net. Yashin against the boards, out at center ice. Makarov, there to the line. There comes Makarov, over the line, makes a couple of moves, tries to get through, controls and shoots it right in there. And the save is made by Peters and Robinson's got it. Robinson, now behind the net, Makarov digging in after it. Roughed up against the boards there by Coffey. Sutter moves in as well. Along the boards, cleared back to the point. Kazatonov's shot is deflected off the glass by Peters. Now Bossy. Bossy just pops it out to center ice and Kazatonov. 124 remaining in the first period. No score. Kazatonov in his own zone. Off the boards, Coffey clearing it right back in again. And Gartner upended as he went in. He ran into North. In the corner, Kazatona lifts it out to center ice once again. Messier couldn't handle it. Back at the defense is Charlie Huddy. Look through center ice. Gartner hustling after it. Less than a minute remaining now. It's Matt Wilkin along the boards. Messier. Rick wide pass. A 
On the far side, has it torn off. He's roughed up against the boards. Now along the boards. Trying to get loose and out of his own zone as Barnikov is cleared back in. Wilson, the rink wide pass. Anderson. Anderson ahead for Gartner. Gartner over the line. He's double teamed as he goes through. Anderson going in. Now it's Gartner. Into a pile up in front. Gartner shoots it right on. Out come the Soviets. Holtz up. Holtz up with center ice. Ahead, the pass and the long shot by Barnikov. And it's cleared away by Peters. And down into the Soviet zone. 19 seconds remaining. Out of center ice, knocked down, and cleared back in with players trapped. So we'll get a face off outside the Soviet blue line with 12 seconds remaining in the first period. As we look at Larry at Glenn Anderson. Before that, there was a good play by Pete Peters. He got the hold of the puck. He shot it down, not for an icing, but so his teammates could get a line change. They were tired. They were out there for a while. There's only 15 seconds left in the period. Smart play by Pete Peters. Well, I saw Glenn Sather. He's got to feel a lot happier about things tonight than he has in this tournament. This is clearly the best game that Canada has played. No score. And we have 10 seconds remaining now in the period as the puck is shot in. Middleton hustling in after it. Now it's cleared along the boards. Gretzky chopped out near... The corner, Bork knocked it out of midair, and as he played it, it is called with one second left, so there'll be a puck drop in center ice. Well, this is the game we were all looking forward to seeing. Uh, it's what we thought it would be, and uh, it's living up to it all the way. Some great scoring chances and some good goaltending by both hockey clubs. Fast tempo to it. So they'll drop the puck and the siren will go, and what a period it has been, Darrell. The shots on goal, 10 apiece. No score in the game. Canada came on in the last part of it offensively, but just a solid total period by Team Canada against a team that always plays well, of course, in the Soviet Union. Well, the Soviets, they're not going to change. They're going to play the same way the second and third period. Let's hope Team Canada can do the same thing. All right, no score after 20 minutes. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. And we're just about set to go as the Soviets now have readied themselves. Fans are ready, obviously. What will the second period hold for us? I think the interesting thing about this hockey game, Daryl, is how the conditioning will stand up, too. The tempo of this hockey has been, been intense. We know the Soviets can stand up to it. The question, again, as we go on further into this hockey game is how Canada will do. Well, each guy's going to have to dig within and uh, come up with it. They know there's no tomorrow. They want to win this thing. They need two good periods of hockey, just like that first one. Well. Canada out there with the Sutter line, the Islander line. Robinson back in his own zone now, and he starts out. Robinson ahead for Coffee. Coffee at center ice. It is backhanded by Bossy deep into the Soviet zone. Bossy's there in the corner, trying to flip it quickly in front of the net, but it was trapped by the defense. And out at center ice, it comes Makarov. Ahead for Lariano. Lariano to the line. The shot. Love save made by Peters, and he holds on. Another good save. Well, a good quick shot by Lirianov who comes across the blue line and uses the defenseman a little bit for a screen and he just cranks it. Pete Peters was sharp once again. So the face off will be in the Team Canada zone. Peters flexing his leg after that but he seems to be all right. Uh, concerned of course that he might have pulled a muscle. Face off will be deep in the Team Canada end. There's Pete. Soviets have made a change. They've got the Gorky line. Three members of the Gorky torpedo. And they're going to toss Wayne Gretzky and Colvin out of there. I think Colvin's out too. Yes, he is. And Sports Off will take the draw against Michel Goulet. And from the face off. They're back to the blue line. There's a screenshot taken from the point by Starikov. Middleton overskated it. Coming back is Gretzky, and he chops it out to center ice for Starikov. has got it. Starikov on the wing. Barnikov shooting it in. Sportsov going in after it. Barnikov trailing. Barnikov shooting it in on the short side. Sportsov behind the net now. Loses his balance and is pushed up against the boards by Kevin Lowe. Now digging it free. In the corner is Barnikov. Barnikov is upended by Gretzky, and the puck is cleared out through center ice and down into the Soviet zone, and it'll have to be played by Mushkin. Cutting in front of his own net and starting out is Starikov. Along the board, that lead pass now. Over the line comes Semyonov. Cutting in front of the net, he drops it off now. Makarov, the shot, and juggled and gloved by Peters. And we'll get another face off in the Team Canada zone. No score. This is Levatt's Canada Cup on CTV. 
In the past two years, over 170,000 kids have been awarded ESSO Medals of Achievement. These minor hockey awards are just one of the many community programs that ESSO supports across Canada because to ESSO, it's a good, healthy way for youngsters to grow and develop. And tonight, ESSO is also pleased to provide the Player of the Game Award, a handsome Eskimo carving. Here's the shot coming in. Darrell. There's Makarov letting it go. Pete Peters gets out of his net. He's at the top of his crease, cutting down the angles. He sure does look sharp. Well, they made a, a change here as they're using Makarov now on a line with Semenov. Also on that line is Yashin. So they've juggled things a little bit, and I think they're double shifting Makarov, who also plays, of course, on the big line with. Larry Otto. Here's Messier hopping in over the line. Tries to hustle his way past Belia Ledinov, but he just wouldn't let him go. Now Wilson moves in, pinching in from the point. Messier can't get to it. Belia Ledinov clearing it around the boards. Out to center ice. Here's the break. Here's Makarov. He took the two-line pass. They whistled it a little late, but he took the pass, and Makarov kind of looking at the referee, but that was a two-line pass. He thinks he should have been all right. Well, the linesman was right there on the red line where he should have been to call it. That's what the Soviets can do. There's really not much happening, and all of a sudden there's an explosive attack. There's a pass up the middle, and they're gone. So the faceoff will be at the top rim of the circle in Soviet territory. They make another quick change. Canada with Peter Stasny out there, along with Bourne and Bellows, Robinson, Coffey. Take the draw now is Shepala. And the face off Robinson shot and it's gloved there by Mushkin. And with some traffic in front of the person of Peter Stasny, he holds on again. That is another win of a draw and a shot from the blue line. Well, that's what uh, we can take all the face offs we want if we're going to continue to win them like that. Stasny set once again to take the draw against Kimaev now. And now. They're going to bring sports off, uh, off uh, the bench, and they're not going to let him come off the bench. Chase him right back again. Shepard wanted to come off. Stasny lining up for the draw from the faceoff. Now it's kicked back, and the Soviets get it out to center ice. After it in the center ice zone is Vasiliev, and it's Canada controlling it with Coffey to Robinson. Robinson off the boards. Right up ice comes Canada now to center ice. Cleared in by Bellows. Bourne moving in the shot, and he gulped it right up on Wishkin on the short side. Robinson keeping it in. But the Soviets break out once again. That rink wide pass over the line comes Shepelev. Shepelev with a shot. It's off the blocker there. Peters, he controlled it. Another shot that came in on the short side. Peters handled that easily. And Canada with Bourne. Bourne out intended for Stasi. Went right by him. And Zubkov back in his zone. Kazatonov, Kazatonov made a good move to duck the floor checking and starts out with that lead pass to Gamayev who's checked by Sutter. Kazatonov on the far side. Robinson moves up on him, pins it up against the board just outside the Soviet blue line. We'll get another face off. Eddie Westwall down below, Eddie. John O'Sullivan, you're going to fight a professional fight coming up pretty soon. Yeah, we're starting uh, our professional debut October the 9th in Toronto at the Harbour Castle Hilton. Now, when you get to a hockey game like this, do you get pent up and get excited well, like you're ready to fight? When I'm in the same building, the same country as any Russians, I get all pent up and energetic <laughs> when the Russians are around. Thanks a lot, and good luck to you, my friend. Thank you, Eddie. Good for you, John. Two minutes and 31 seconds gone here in the second period. No score in the hockey game. Marianoff out there now. Makarov playing way down on this side. Spread out right along the blue line. Rutov, of course, now they've kicked out Sutter and Zanelli will take the draw. In the face off. Zanelli gets it into the Soviet zone. Perbukin. Perbukin pressured there by Sutter, but he got a pass away along the boards. But Bussy, the, Bussy came up with it. It's cleared in front. It's cleared back through center ice again by the Soviet defense. Peters flipping it off the board. Sutter. Sutter in against the boards with Karutov. Out for Bossy. Ahead now, Born on the rush. Drops it for Bossy. The shot! And it was a drive. Just missed the net. Out at center ice now, Makarov. Makarov with Krutov over the line. Now Makarov getting set. His shot to flex off the glass. Canada in possession once again with Sutter leading the rush. Sutter 
Shooting it in, it's deflected off the glass. Bossy picking it up against the boards. Trying to control a bouncing puck, and he wound up deflecting it out to center ice. Wilson. Wilson gets the return pass. Rink wide pass for Bossy over for Gretzky. Gretzky with a little room. In now for Goulet, and he's hauled down with the penalty. score in the hockey game. Canada about to go on the power play. This is Lamatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Here's Gretzky cut, cutting laterally over to Goulet, who's pulled down by Lariana. Let's see if Team Canada can crack this Soviet penalty coming. And from the face-off, the Soviets bringing it out to center ice now. Sports off ahead. Trying to get it over the line is Barnikov. He shoots it to the side of the Team Canada net, and Canada now on the mark. Coming out of the zone is Paul Coffey. Coffey through center ice, flips it in now. Around the boards it goes. Coffey trailing on the play, and he threw it out in front. But Middleton is forced to play at the point position. That was vacated by Coffey. Over the line. Now here's the shot. That's steered wide of the net by Peters. Middleton. Middleton. He'll take the puck to center ice himself now. Middleton with the puck as he hits the line. Tries to go through the defense. Middleton. Got Goulet all alone in front. Couldn't get the puck to him. Cleared off the boards. Kept in by Coffey in deep for Gretzky. Gretzky, now Goulet, Goulet behind the net, it went right past Middleton, Bork beating it in deep, Middleton's there, behind the net for Gretzky to Middleton, Middleton back to Gretzky behind the net, trying to get it to Middleton, his shot is right on, loose back in front, Pushkin down, and he covers up. Canada's working that play from behind the net with Wayne Gretzky quite effectively tonight. Never seen the Soviets give the Canadian player so much time behind there. There's Goulet in front, trying to act as a screen. Good save by Mishkin. The Soviets of this tournament have been shorthanded 15 times and have only given up one goal for a 93% penalty killing average, which is an excellent penalty killing. That lone goal, as you see Paul Coffey shaking his head as he comes to the bench, that lone goal came against Sweden, a lone power play goal scored against them. And the power play goal was an important one. It narrowed it to just a uh, one goal hockey game but the Soviets tightened up from that point on and won the game. One minute exactly remaining in the Lariana penalty. Wilson's out there now. Uh, also at the point is Glenn Anderson. And Messier along with Bossy up front. Playing everybody up except Me uh, Wilson. Wilson with that big shot but he had a rolling puck to deal with and decided not to let it go. Now Wilson. Wilson playing it along the boards. Bossy, Bossy, back to Wilson. Wilson just flipping it up into the air, fanning on it. There's a tap pass, but they couldn't get it in front for Anderson. Now into the corner it goes. Messier out in front is Bossy. Oh, what a chance! Woo! And right down in his knees, and giving him no room to shoot. Was Mushkin. Uh, great save by Mushkin here. Mike Bossy's all alone in front of the net. The puck might have been rolling a little bit on him. He didn't maybe get as much wood on it as he, he would have liked, but that's the position you like Mike Bossy shooting from. Michigan's hot. Well, the two hot goaltenders in this game. Good give and go. Bossy with a good scoring chance. Messier about to take the draw once again. Back to the blue line. Wilson again. Elects not to shoot the puck. Gets it again. Wilson sliding it along the boards for Bossy. Bossy, he's got the puck now. Looks across ice and he fed it right past Bork. And it's loose in front of the net. Here's Messier with a backhand shot. It's deflected wide. Anderson turning. Anderson in deep. Anderson cuts for the area in front of the net now. Messier's out there as well. They try to force it through a bouncing puck. And it's wristed away there by Mushkin. Clear to the line. Wilson couldn't control it. Makarov out of the penalty or at least over the line. And he's checked there by Bork. Bork moves up ice with it. They've got seven seconds left in the power play. Wilson ahead and center ice for Messier. Over the line. Messier. Just rolling it behind the net now. Anderson hustling after it. Puck is clear to the point. Kept in by Coffey. Makarov, Anderson, Makarov again, Coffey skating away from the checking, two good moves, backhand shot, hit a leg. Now behind the net. After it there is Bossy out in front and Bork couldn't get the shot away. Bork in the corner. Try to flip it around behind the net. Anderson's back there as well. Bork still checking. Messier picks up the puck, clears it in front. And it goes right by everybody and Perbukin takes it out of harm's way. Clears to center right. Penalty is over. Makarov over the line, fakes it, tries to give to Karutov. Now Lariano. 
Larry on off, clearing it in front. He put it right on a stick. The Rudolph turning now. He clears it to Makarov. Makarov to the point for Kazatonov. His shot right on. Long rebound. And it's cleared back out to center right. Kazatonov back in his own zone. Teams have changed on the fly now as Kazatonov feeds it off the boards. Two line passes. Yashin picked it up. And it's called for a face off back in the Soviet zone. No score in the hockey game. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. At West Ball here at ice level at the Saddle Dome in Calgary, the respect the Soviets have for the shot of Doug Wilson from the Chicago Blackhawks and, of course, Team Canada. He didn't get a shot away. They kept a man on him. Knocked down as he hit the line. There's going to be a penalty. I think it is going to be charged uh, against uh, the team, against the Soviet. Puck is loose in front of that bouncing puck. They go, everybody racing forward, and finally the whistle goes. And the Soviets are going to go shorthanded once again. And it looked like a high sticker and elbow. Valadina, he interfered with John Tonelli right from the faceoff. Knocked Tonelli down. He's the big, strong defenseman for the Soviets. He's, a, he's known as their mean, mean defenseman here. Right from the faceoff. There you see him knocking Tonelli down. Well, he moved out to cover the point. He's got a little more into it than he wanted. Team Canada Robbie having set up a pretty good play there. They're having a little tough luck around that net. They're getting the chances. The puck's just not bouncing their way yet. Canada trailing on the shots on goal clock, 15 to 14 right now. Play underway and in the corner it's Gardner. Gardner trying to hold it in against the boards against Kimaev checking along the boards and it's Poked out to center ice. Sutter shooting it back inside the zone. Gimaev. Gimaev for Parabukin. He clears it down the ice. Peters out of his net. Robinson will come back to pick it up. Robinson just flipping it into the corner. Nearly gave that away. Robinson now takes it behind the net as he got the return pass. Robinson. Here he comes. At center ice for Coffey. Coffey with Gartner now as he moves up. Gretzky's on the line along with Tonelli. Here's Coffey moving it in. Tonelli's there. He scores! All the Team Canada players are off the bench. Beautiful play by Paul Coffey. Big, big goal for Team Canada. Here's Paul Coffey going around the defenseman. Makes that little pass out to Nelly, busting for the hole. Right up in the top corner. Beautiful shot. Look at the reaction from Tonelli. That's a great play. That's a great view of it, too. Well, that's Paul Coffey. He's noted for coming up in the play, acting as a fourth forward. He makes a great rush there and a great pass out to Tonelli. Tonelli from Coffey and I imagine Robinson. And for Tonelli, his second goal. An interesting alignment, as you see Tian off there, but an interesting alignment with Tonelli on that line, uh, on the power play. Well, he, he gets control of that puck in the corner. He mucks around. He gets in front of the net. Causes a little havoc in there. A power play goal. Goulet's got the puck now. Canada would like to take it right to them again, see if they can make it. Oh, out in front. Oh, what a chance. And Plutsky just couldn't control it. Wilson's got it. The Soviets seem to be off their game a little bit right here. Sports off now as it's hoisted down the ice by Coleman. Out at center ice now, the Soviets hitting the line. That's Barnakov shooting it in. Peters leaving at the side of the net down. Goulet, Gretzky at center ice. One man back, that's Kazatonov. Middleton catching up. Gretzky, Middleton, Middleton shooting it. And just off the shoulder of Mushkin. Back out to the point now. Goulet moving in. Goulet, good move. Goulet shoots it. He's stuck in front as Middleton dies for it. Mushkin covered up. And we'll have a face-off in the Soviet end, and Canada's got the Soviets a little off their game. They sure do. It's a great action here for Team Canada. They're all around the net here. Here's Goule going in for another good scoring chance. Doesn't have really any room to put it in. But when you're playing a European team, if you can get the lead on them, they play an altogether all different game than uh, you do if they're up. Get the second effort here by Middleton. Watch him now. The puck will drop at the feet. He's looking for that loose puck, and he dives, and it just got covered up. Well, Mis Michigan's been juggling a lot of shots tonight. Team Canada keeps forcing that one guy to go to the net. Cases the rebound and poke it in. 
Sob will be in the Soviet end. There's Mushkin. He's been under fire in this game. He's had to make some saves, but I'll tell you, the goaltenders in this game have been very, very good, both ends. It's been a great hockey game, and that's what makes a great hockey game when the goaltenders make those good saves. Well, Yashin coming off the bench now to come in for this faceoff. Messier, Anderson, Gardner, Lowe, and Bork. The alignment for Team Canada. On the faceoff, Messier and a shot. Now here's Bork. Bork chopping it into the corner. Gartner's hauled down as he went after that puck behind the net. Now Messier, throw, or at least Anderson, throws a check against the boards. And it was batted out of midair with a high stick. So we'll have a faceoff at the top rim of the circle in Soviet territory. There's Mark Messier. He's been a spark plug that last period he played against the Soviets. Has carried over into this hockey game. He's a big, strong guy. And it's nice to have your strong men at the center, you know. Sergei Shepelev. Dynamo forward. Kind of a rookie. That's a crash through the defense there. Vasiliev moving in. Canada again tightens up defensively. Anderson against the boards. They try to feed it back. He's upended. Tries to reach back for it now. Vasiliev around behind the net. Stops up. Tries to jam it in the short side. Unable to do it. Luck is behind the net. In the crowd, and it was passed ahead there by Lowe, reached down and passed it ahead, but he got the whistle he wanted. That's why Kevin Lowe, he saw his teammate there, he put his glove on it, passed it ahead, got the whistle, get things organized. Line change here for Team Canada. And for the Soviets, who send out their number one line, there's Kevin Lowe, the Edmonton Oilers, fine defensive defenseman, former captain of the Quebec Ramparts of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Larionov out there now, along with Karutov and Makarov. And the Sutter line, of course, they seem to be. There's our problem again with that a little bit of patch of ice right at the side of the net, that end of the ice. Ed Westfall, you've been looking at that down there. Eddie, uh, what is the problem? Is there just a great big chunk out of the ice there? Yeah, there's a, uh, a hole coming, uh, getting larger and larger. And, of course, as they try to patch it and with the action around the net, Pete Peters, of course, has to pay no attention to it and ride out over top of it with his skates. He keeps opening the hole up. It does get a little bigger. Right now, it's it's still the size, oh, I'd say half the size of a hockey puck. It's like a piece of pavement <laughs> through there. Well, I think it's a plus for Team Canada when they can get a few breaks like that. He's got a rest. That's right. The tempo has been incredible, and Canada has been right in it. One nothing Canada leading. Here's Coffey. Stick handles past the roof off, and he's out at center ice. Now this is a three on three. Shot in now. Tonelli going in after it. Also in there is Bossy. Bossy chops it free. Tonelli after it in the corner. Bossy. Bossy back behind the net. And it bounces to the side of that. Moose there. Scramble. And a goal just wide of the post. Now turning with it in the corner is Billy Litanov. Now after it is Tonelli. Tonelli fighting off a check. He's not down. There's going to be a penalty. Well, that's when you have a guy like John Tonelli. He works as hard as he does. He just keeps those legs going. The only way you're going to get, get the puck from him is to pull him down, and that's what happened there. Well, here's Tonelli working again. Just that's keeps Larry those legs. He keeps those legs moving. Well, you put the pressure on, you draw penalties. When you're out hustling your opposition, uh, this is what has happened to the Soviets. Penalties have been well earned so far. Larionov goes off for holding. That's his second penalty. He's only 100. He's only 154 pounds, pulling down a big guy like Tonelli. Take a look at this action around the net just before the penalty. Now look at this. What great chances! Nobody could get a real good chunk of it there, Daryl. Look at this. Sutter goes down. Bossy. There. I tell you, you can see the hustle and the the effort being put in in that replay. Well, there's lots of clutching and grabbing around that net too. You want to get your stick on it, you can't. The guy's holding it. It's frustrating at times. Well, the power play for Canada right now, leading one nothing. Gretzky out there, Middleton. They'll use Wilson on the point along with Bork. And from the faceoff, it's Bork who's got it. Goulet's the other winger. Bork in the corner now, goes in deep, feeds it back to Gretzky. Gretzky off the boards. Bork, Bork chopping it into the corner for Goulet. He takes a check in there, Middleton. Along the boards now, it is cleared away. Here's Middleton, the shot! Oh, down goes Mushkin, he's sitting on it. What a play was made to tee that one up, and I think Bork was the one who let the shot go. Bork was coming in from his point position. Little dump pass to him by Middleton. 
Just a thinking man's play from two teammates, by the way, which may help in that particular instance. And look at uh, Michel Goulet in front of the net, trying to screen the goalie or get a piece of that puck to change direction. Oh, it is Wilson at the point along with Bork. This crowd is really picking it up here. And what have we got here? A couple of players going to be tossed. I think Noeth now is over at the penalty box and he's called the two captains over, Kazatonov and Gretzky. I think and Aggie Kuklowicz is over there as well. He might be telling Tienoff to speed up his line changes because he keeps bringing players to the bench and uh, delaying the game a little bit. Well, Kazatonov will now come over and talk to Tianov. No, he won't. Whatever it was, I think it was between the two captains. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Got any ideas, Eddie Westfall? You down there? Have you seen anything that we we haven't? Well, in the uh, the quite a conversation a moment ago between uh, referee Mike Noeth and uh, the Soviet coach and players. So he's trying to get the message through. All right, play underway out in front. Goal, right by, and another given goal. That time Gretzky got it away. Wilson keeps it in at the blue line. Can't contain it, and Bork has to go back for it. Bork, they put the pressure on him as Coben moves in to forecheck. Bork just stands there. Gretzky comes back, skates by it, and Bork will carry the puck. Out he comes. Raymond Bork at center ice. Leads the rush to the line. Bork fading to the boards. He's got Gouley in front. Oh, goal by Middleton at the side of the net. Tries to jam it and Gretzky rolled it wide. Now in the corners, Goulet, Gretzky, clear to the point. Bork was turned the wrong way and he'll have to go back for it. One minute left in the penalty. And behind his own net. Sports off for checking. Wilson out along the boards. Here's Tonelli leading the rush with Messier. Drops for Messier. Messier to Bossy. Bouncing buck. Oh, another great chance. That one hopped over the stick of Tonelli. Goulet. Back near his own line now, gives it on this side for Messier. Messier to the line, Tonelli, Tonelli cutting for the net. Messier trailing on the play, clears it in front. Oh, goodness. What an immense chance, and it just stopped by Mushkin. How that one stayed on, I don't know. I don't know if he saved it or hit the post, but a great play here by Tonelli. Carries the puck in behind the net. Makes a pass right out through the crease. How that one Mission got his glove on it. Nice hit, a save post, hit a post and came back into him. And he saved it a second time. Watch it from behind the net. You'll get an idea. There it is, rolling right at the line and covered up. Team Canada's power play has been very, very impressive tonight. They've had control of the puck in each situation, each time they've had a man advantage and uh, all sorts of scoring chances. Shots on goal, 22 to 15 right now. Canada's really had it going on the power play. They lead 1-0. They are dominating this hockey game. They need a couple more goals. There's Messier from the faceoff. Taking it out of harm's way. Starikov clears it around the boards, and Robinson picks it up. 20 seconds left of the power play. Robinson, Messier couldn't get that. Hustling in after it now. Bossy, or at least Gretzky, but it's touched in there by Gamayev, and a faceoff will result on the icing. Back down in the Team Canada zone. Canada's had four shots on this power play, and a couple of them have been very, very dangerous. There's the story. Great hockey game. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. 14 seconds remaining in the power play for Team Canada. The faceoff will be in their end. Messier will take the draw against Sergei Shepilev. From the faceoff, Messier feeds it back to Wilson. Behind the net. Right to feed it away. Behind the net now. And it's Canada will bring it up with Wilson at center ice. The pass for Huddy. Huddy just batted it ahead, and that'll be called. And a face off in the center ice zone at three seconds remaining in the Larionov penalty. Charlie Huddy. A steady defenseman. He signed as a free agent with Edmonton, and two years ago he was the plus minus leader in the whole National Hockey League. It's an important stat. Well, they move Wilson up, so they're playing four abreast with just Huddy back as Messier wins the draw. Now quickly to Anderson. Anderson relays it into the Soviet zone. Going back is Gamayev. Clears it to the point. Wilson just kicks it ahead now. Over and shot here. Right on. Rebound. Roof puck. On, down and shoved. In against the post with a puck underneath him is Moishkin. 
Well, they got it going again. Great the chance. He has expired. We need a few breaks. We have to get a couple of those into the net. Here's a play. Gartner sees Messier, Messier off the side. Yeah. Oh, look at that loose puck. He's letting a few loose pucks around there. That's one thing Wishkin's doing. He's there are a few rebounds there to handle. Trouble corralling that one, and that set the stage for Anderson to cut right into the crease. Well, Canada makes a change now as they put Peter Stasny out there with Bourne and Bellows. Low and Bork, uh, Bork for Canada. Semenov making the draw. Stasny back to the blue line, and out to center ice it comes. Yashin, Yashin had a stick checked away from him by Low. Canada in possession now. Bork ahead, Bellows put it right behind Stasny. It goes all the way down into the Soviet zone, and icing will be called as it's touched by Billy Litvinov. And back into Team Canada territory once again. 8:27 left in the second period, and it's one nothing Canada. How about those credentials, Daryl? It's been around for a while. He's their big tough guy. They call him the policeman, and apparently he'll drop his gloves and fight him if he has to. Yeah. Soviets say the toughest guy in Soviet hockey, without question, is Fatisov. Well, he's tough too. He's mean. He's strong in front of the net. He's probably the best defenseman in the world today. No, he's not here. Not he's here. got a broken ankle, a very bad break, as a matter of fact. He's going to miss the first three months of the season, I'm told. Out near the line, Bossy trying to break free. Here's a backhand shot wide of the net. Peters keeps it behind the net with his stick. Bork goes down with a puck underneath him and holds it, and we'll get another face off. And Canada will try to win the draw this time. Well, it's been a while since Pete Peters has really faced a shot. Sometimes when a goalie's sitting down on the other end there, gives him time to think and he cools out a little bit. Let's see how he makes out here. Well, Canada had five shots on that last power play, failed to score, and you know you you got to take advantage. The old line about how many scoring chances you're going to get in a game. Uh, Eddie Westfall touched on it. During the opening of the show, got to take advantage of the nine or ten you're going to get against the Soviets. Canada's had about that many so far in this hockey game. A lot more than we thought. A lot more in the quota against the Soviets. Tonelli ahead now at center ice. This could be a two-on-one over the line. Bossy getting set. Tees it up and shoots it. Glove side of Wishkin, and he handled it. That's the shot that Bossy likes to let go, looking for the top corner glove side. Well, Tonelli made a great play coming out of Team Canada's end there. He Picked up the puck along the boards and threw it up to Bossy. And Bossy lets that quick shot go. And there's the glove save, juggled by Mushkin, and then he hung on as he let it drop to the ice. He's juggled almost everything that's come out of tonight. Yeah, that's very interesting. But the defense is tightened up, and they've covered up on a lot of those rebounds. Sutter now rolls it in front of the net, gets it again behind the net. Sutter stopped up the. Behind the net now as he's checked in there by Kazatonov. Fights off that check and there's Tonelli doing his work in the corner now. Tonelli fighting off a high stick in there. Larionov's in on top of Tonelli and it's Kazatonov around the boards. Kept in by Robinson and finally the Soviets bring it out to center race. Larionov over the line. Shoots it into the corner. Looks for his own rebound. Behind the net. Coffee in on top of him. Coffee digs it out. Bossy fell as he tried to reach that puck. Zubkov kept it in. Shot it to the side of the net. Karutov couldn't deflect it. Coffee. Copy that rig wide pass. Way out of his net is Mushkin. He covers it up, then slides it into the corner. Robinson moves in, checks it in against the boards to get the whistle. We'll have a face off inside the Soviet. 12 minutes, 39 seconds gone here in the second period. Canada leading 1 0. Gretzky making the draw inside the Soviet line against Vladimir Kobin, wearing that face guard down there after a very serious cut he suffered when he was checked by Mark Messier. In the last game, well, he's a tough guy. He's 30 years old, and he plays all the international games against uh, Team Canada and the Canada Cups, and, and that's why he's here because he's a tough little guy. Goulet will take the draw now, and Middleton reaching for that bucket rolls in front of the net. Starikov takes it out of arms way behind the net, then is checked off the bucket rolls in front. But Coben is right there. Coben being checked from behind by Middleton. Also moving across is Goulet. Wilson, the rink wide pass. Over the line comes Gretzky and a two on one. Gets it over. The shot by Goulet. Gretzky, side of the net. Back out for Huddy. Huddy shoots it in there. The save is made. The Soviets inside the zone. Now Middleton. Gretzky, Gretzky behind the net now. Gretzky trying to roll it in front of the net and it was blocked by the defense. 
Now Middleton, he's knocked down. And it's cleared out to center ice. Wilson flipped it up into his own bench. And it'll be called for a face-off in the center ice zone. The 6.39 remaining in the second period. Well, it's been a, been a long time since I've seen a Soviet team so off balance for such a long period of time. Team Canada is doing a great job of checking them. And the Soviet player does have the puck. They uh, finish their checks up and take the guys out. An interesting statistic on the Soviets. And this has been the way uh, it seems like everybody they bring up. Uh, the replacements and so on, they're all shoot from the same side. Here is puck cleared in front of the net. One off Kevin Lowe's stick and roll just wide of the net and has golfed up through center ice now. Back to get it will be Paravukin. Paravukin clears it behind his net. Ilya Letinov clearing it out to center ice now. Goes by everybody and Bork has got it. And what has happened here? Messier is going to pick up a penalty for something that happened behind the play. Well, the Soviets will go on the power play for the first time since a penalty to Pete Peters back in the first period. Canada, meanwhile, has had a total of four power play advantages since then and have scored on one of them. Well, the Soviets. It's an elbowing call. Shots on goal right now, significantly 27 to 15. Favor of Team Canada. Well, Michigan's been the difference, that's for sure. He's made some big stops. The interesting thing about that was at the 1449 mark of the first period I made a note after the Makarov the Makarov penalty for holding it was nine to three favor of the Soviets. So Canada has really come on since then with 24 shots to just six. And Canada has the one goal. Now let's see what happens here. Interesting ebb and flow of course to these international games between Canada and the Soviet Union. They have that explosive ability. Dropped out to center ice off the face off. Now the Soviets is fed back along the boards for Sutter. Sutter ducks away from a check, then turns and fires it down into the Soviet zone. Zubkov is out there with Kazatonov on the power play. Has to duck away from the forechecking of Tonelli. Sutter, Tonelli in forechecking again as Zubkov picks it up. They peel back now. Makarov ahead for Zubkov at center ice now. Zubkov will lead the rush. Gets it over to Makarov. Makarov over the line now. Zubkov going for the side of the net. Makarov. Makarov back to the blue line. Gets the return pass from Zubkov to the side of the net. Karutov makes the move and he was forced behind the net. Didn't get any room at all from Peters. Now Canada jamming in against the boards. It pops three and it's cleared down the ice by Derek Red Sutter. Moishkin out of the net now. 107 remaining in the power play. At center ice, it's Larionov. Turning with it, Gretzky on top of him. Now it's checked away again as Karutov tried to stick out. There's Bourne. Bourne going in with Gretzky in the corner. Gretzky, Canada, controlling it even as they're shorthanded here. And Gretzky goes down. They try to poke it free. Kazatonov is there. The puck is still loose. And finally it pops free as the referee lost sight of it. It'll be called for a faceoff. Outside the blue line as it was batted ahead. 43 seconds left in the power play. Good job by Bob Bourne and Wayne Gretzky killing the time. The clock in this penalty. 4.55 remaining in the second period as you look at the great one. Well, he scored a lot of shorthanded goals in the National Hockey League. And when he's out there killing a penalty, a lot of times he's thinking offense. Over the line. Gretzky's in over the line and he takes the puck loose and shoots it. But it's right off the leg of Ilya Latino. Now Gretzky steals it. Out in front. Bourne couldn't get that pass. Now Gretzky again. And he clears it to the side of the net. Bukin. Clears it off on the wing. The Soviets at center ice now. Down to the line they come. And it's offside. And we'll have a face off outside the blue line with 20 seconds remaining in the power play. If you look there at Sergei Yashin. Well, like the pressure being felt on the Soviet bench as well right now. It's a one nothing hockey game. And the Soviet Union on this power play have not had a shot on goal. 20 seconds left. All they need is one, of course. They got their big line out there again. Mariana, Makarov, and Kutov. Sutter, Coffee, Robinson on the face off. Look at Bossy out there killing this off as well. Robinson clearing it off the boards now. Pinching in from the point position as Kazakhstan is cleared down the ice. 
Back to get it is Zubkoff with six seconds remaining in the power play. They fall in the corner now. Canada gets possession, but Bossy couldn't hold it. Now Coffey waits for Bossy to get onside. Penalties over. Essie hustles into the corner after it. And it's Pushkin stepping out. That puck hit a stanchion in the corner and failed to go around the boards. Now they nearly steal it again. Canada is just swarming all over the Soviets at this stage. Over the line now, Karukov. Karukov in front of the net now and unable to get the shot away with Makarov. They roll it to the side of the net. Bossy. Now it's Larianov. Larianov checked by Huddy. They jam against the door, try to get the face off. Now here is Messier. He clears it out through center ice. Back to get it will be Kazatonov. And it's cleared around the boards. Icing will be called. 3.33 remaining in the second period. There's the score. This is Levant's Canada Cup on CTV. Ed Westfall down here at ice level at the Saddle Dome in Calgary, ducking the human wave as it comes around. Something that's starting to become evident in the hockey game as Canada pours on the pressure. They're forcing the Russian team into making mistakes, but they're also forcing the Russians to make unforced errors. They're starting to give up the puck. Interesting thing, the Soviets uh, have the worst power play in the tournament right now, and we talked a little about about Fetisov and the fact that he is missing. That is a, a key factor because he's a wheelman back there on the power play. Here's Wilson behind his net now. Wilson, they also, may I say, have the best goals against in the tournament. They protected their goaltender well. Here's the lead pass. Goulet deflects it out to center ice. It's knocked down out there. And back in over the line now comes Coven. Coven up against the boards with Huddy on top of him. Clears it around the net. There's going to be a penalty to Wilson. He knocked, I believe it was Sportsoff, into the net. I believe that's Sportsoff there. Yes, it is. Sportsoff was busting to the net to get a, a pass from Coven and... Uh... Doug Wilson caught him with his stick and up, upended him right into the net. That's where those magnetic nets come in handy again. The net came off its moorings. And he was knocked into the net. I don't think he hit any of the post at all, but the play was going behind the net. And he sports off, got behind him in the goal crease, and he just got knocked off his pins. As I think he took a little bit of a check. They call it roughing. And you see the Colvin there right behind him with that bad cut over his eye. And both of them coming to the, the bench. They are from Gorky. It's about 360 kilometers from Moscow. A big car plant there that sponsors the hockey team. And this whole line of Coven, Sportsoff, and Varnikov. A veteran line, average age is 29. They've been together a long time. And they love to play this kind of hockey. Coven at 308 left in the period now. Wilson off and Canada will be killing off a penalty. But the line for the Soviet Union right now is centered by Semenov with Yashin and Spetlov. On the face off, Canada gets possession again, winning that draw. Out at center ice, they come now. Messier, head for Bourne, hopped over a stick, and again, the goaltender, Mushkin, has been forced to play the puck inside his own zone. Now out at center ice once again. To the line, it's checked away. The Soviets in the center ice zone now. Spetlov back into Soviet territory for Belia Letinov. Cleared off the boards, it bounces away from everybody. And Robinson plays it. They let it go because it was a two-line pass there, and it was offside. Now it's golfed down near the Soviet line. Turning with it and starting out is Semenov. Semenov clearing it into the Canadian Canada zone. Coffee clearing it right back out again. That bouncing puck scooped up by Mushkin, and he is forced to cover up on the power play in his own zone. And again, it's that aggressive play, never let up type play that Canada has featured throughout this hockey game so far. Well, when you're a player on the ice and you have the puck, you can make the good plays if you have lots of time to do it. Team Canada is continually staying on the Soviets, making them pass the puck, and maybe they're not quite ready to. There you saw Sutter going in on top of Michigan, not giving him a chance to, uh, to give it to his players, causing a face-off. 224 left in the period, 116 remaining in the power play. Karakov comes off the bench, their big line, the Soviets, Larionov, Karudov, and Makarov out there, puck is back to the blue line, Robinson, flipping it in, it's deflected in front of the net, and it winds up on the stick of Alexei Kazatonov, Kazatonov, cutting in front of his own net now, forced back again, now feeds it ahead for Karudov, taps it over to the wing for Makarov, Makarov's over the line, stick handling with that puck now, Karudov at the side of the net, but it's checked away, and cleared out the center right. 
Canada will make a change. It's back into his own zone as Kazatonov. Here come the Soviets once again. Karutov at center ice now, working to the line. Fakes the shot, drops it. Larionov, Makarov. Makarov against the board. In for Larionov. Behind the net. There's it out to the point for Kazatonov. His shot is blocked by Gretzky. Cleared to an open side now. 29 seconds left in the power play. In the corner now. Makarov. Makarov. Being checked closely by Lowe. In the corner, Karutov picks it up. Karutov is checked by Lowe. Behind the net, Larionov. Back out to Kazatonov. Starikov, his shot is wide of the net. Hits the side of the net. Now turning with it is Karutov. Karutov, seven seconds left in the power play. Karutov, in front of that, Kazatonov, and his shot is wide. Now against the doors. It's flipped out the center ice, the penalty is over. Karutov, he shot it off low. Now near the point, Kazatona against the boards. It's low, off the boards, and down the ice. And the icing here has back to get it is Starikov. And Canada has successfully killed off the penalty. And in four minutes of power play time, the Soviets have failed to get a shot. Well, great job by Team Canada. That was a big play in the hockey game, killing out that penalty. It's less than three minutes left in the second period. Look at the crowd. One great hockey game. Canada is playing at this stage letter perfect hockey. Well, Wayne Gretzky said it in the paper. What do they have to do to beat the Soviets? And he said, play flawless hockey, and they're doing that. Now the puck is cleared near the line. The Soviets try to keep it in, but it just cleared the line, and Shepelev brought it back in. So now with 44 seconds left in the second period. Canada leading 1-0 on a power play goal by John Tonelli. Way back at the 7-17 mark of this second period. Coffey and Robinson assisting. From the face off, puck is cleared back into the Soviet zone. Karabukin back to get it. Icing is called once again. We'll have another face off back in the Team Canada zone. Messier out there with his line, which has been very effective. But isn't it interesting? It's that line, and it usually is in a game like this, of grinders that scores the goal for you. It's Anelli in this case on a power play, but Tonelli with that aggressive forechecking that he's featured throughout this tournament. Well, he's been one of the most consistent players for Team Canada. Like we said earlier, with his hustle and work, he makes things happen out there. Yediak Gimaev taking the draw for the Soviet Union against Messier. Messier wins the draw, it's back in the corner. Poppy hoists it down the ice now. There'll be a race board inside the zone. Perbukin clearing it off the boards. And it's kept in at the point by Bourne. Now after it against the boards, it's Bourne. He moves after it, but it clears the line on the center ice. It's Coffey to Robinson. Robinson to Coffey. Coffey back in his own zone, flips it out to center ice again. Canada wants to go to the dressing room with his one nothing lead. They're just throwing the puck out. Coffey. With seven seconds left in the period, there's the long drifting shot. On the boards, it's Per Buchen. Two seconds left. Behind the net, and the period is over. A tremendous hockey game here in the Olympic Saddle Dome in Calgary. The teams head for a much-deserved rest. There's the fellow who was very, very big in the first period. Here's Mushkin, who's been under fire throughout the second period. In that second period, Canada outshot the Soviet Union 17 to 6, and they lead the hockey game by a score of 1 0. Daryl, what do you say? Tremendous period, but you can sense the Team Canada players have that confidence. They're playing with the poison, they're taking it to the Russians. They're not sitting back at all. They can feel it. All right, 1 0. You see it there. This is the Mats Canada Cup on CTV. Well, there's just one goal in the hockey game. It came with Zinatula Bilyatinov off for interference. John Tonelli scoring a great rush by Coffey to set it up. His second goal of the tournament, 7-17. That's been it. The shots on goal tell a bit of a story, 27-16. But even more, the shots from the 14-49 mark of the first period. That's when Makarov got a holding penalty through to the end of the sixth, uh, second period. That's uh, a total of uh, 25 minutes and 11 seconds. Canada out shot. The Soviet Union 24 to 7. All they have to show for it is the one goal. And you know, when conditioning comes into play, Daryl Sittler, it's, you, you begin to wonder. You go into a third period protecting a one goal lead. But Canada has just played so well in this hockey game. 
Uh, the full effort is there. It's very, very clear. And we can certainly look forward to this period. Well, for sure. I know as a player, they can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak of. They've got through that second period with a great effort. All they need is 20 good sound minutes to keep the Russians off balance, and we got to win. Well, there you see Sergei Starikov. And there is a fellow who has played very well early in the game. When it was very, very important to set the style for the game, he made the big stops, and you'll love to have that when, you, when you're out, I know, playing as a forward, when the things get a little shaky and all of a sudden the goaltender comes up with two or three big saves for you. Well, it turns things right around. Uh, like we saw the other night against USA, you get behind a couple goals, a couple shots in the net, and there's no way you can come back. And uh, they've definitely got the goaltending here tonight. Wishkin has had his problems in the net, and uh, he has only let, let in the one goal, but he has also let a lot of rebounds go. And his defense has helped him out a great deal, which, he, which is what the defense is for, of course. If you keep doing that, eventually you're going to wind up in, in that problem. Well, there's going to be a rebound knocked in or something, but Team Canada keeps driving for that net, and that's what they have to do to keep the Soviets off balance. Soviets have five penalties in this hockey game, and Team Canada has four right at the blue line, having trouble controlling the puck under the checking of Lariana. That's Paul Coffey. Now behind the net, Robinson around for Coffey. Coffey backing up and then flipping it out to center ice now. Not able to control it. After it is Sutter there, Wishkin way out of his net. Now he's going to cover it up and hold it. Penalty for that in the National Hockey League. And international hockey, that's just something that is done. Well, when you get out of the net like that, uh, I'm sure from a goalie's point of view, it's scary because you give the puck to the wrong guy, it's going to be in your own net. So Michigan just played it safe and uh, took the whistle. That's Brent Sutter. And ask for a bigger effort than he's put in. He's, and that line. He's had a great tournament, that's for sure. I wonder how, you know, we remember the 1981 tournament and how it carried over into the regular season for such players, uh, the 76 tournament even more, but certainly 81 carried over for such players as Rick Middleton. Others that had great seasons coming off the Canada Cup. Back out the blue line now. Here's low shot. It gets right through. Brown is batted into the corner. Mushkin covered it up and then cleared it in. A quick whistle there by Moa. And we'll get a face off deep in the... Soviet zone. One nothing Canada leading. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Tonight's opposition player of the game will receive the sleek new Canon T70. It puts the accuracy of a computer into every shot automatically. The Canon T70, like Gretzky, it makes the great shots simple. And speaking of the great one, he's out there to take the draw right now. Along with Middleton, it comes back to Bork to Middleton. Middleton just tipping it ahead now. Goulet hustling in. He had five shots on goal in the second period back near the line. And Lowe couldn't contain it. Bork comes across, picks it up, clears it ahead. Gretzky at center right. Gretzky ahead right through Goulet's legs. And it's cleared back in again. Bork back after it. Bork being pressured in the corner by Barnikov. Hovind's there. Gretzky puts it along the boards. Middleton ahead for at center right now. Gretzky catching up now. Goulet set the shot right on. And it's kicked away by Mushkin. Barnikov out at center ice now. Icing will be the call. Is back to get it is Coffey. And we'll have a face off again in the Soviet zone. Well, there's another shot by Goulet. A great effort there. Coming in off the wrong wing and he lets the shot go. And Mushkin's right on the top of his crease to get his pad on it. And the big bird, Larry Robinson. Rejuvenated here. He says, just having the time of his life in this tournament, enjoying himself. He's playing like it too. Here's another shot, this one by Gartner, that was deflected wide of the net. Herbulkin out of center ice, Robinson. Robinson clearing it ahead now for Anderson. Anderson off the boards and hustling back in now is Herbulkin. In the four check is Gartner. Also in there now is Messier. Messier to Gartner in the corner. He's checked by. Amelia uh, left in off and has cleared out the center ice now. Slipped off, trying to get loose. Semenov there. And he turns with it. Semenov. But it goes right to Robinson. Robinson gets the return pass. He's out at center ice now. Robinson dropping it off. And it's backhanded in by Messier. Canada changing quickly here. Along the boards, Yashin. Yashin at center ice now. Sutter reaches for Yashin. Yashin's over the line, drops the pass, and looks at the checking by Anderson. Back comes Canada. Gardner getting it from Sutter. Gardner hops over a check, gets into the line. It's through center ice now, and the Soviets come back. Spedlock to the line. Spedlock, good, good move. And it rolled off the end of the 
the stick. Now they shoot it across the goal mound. Good puck on the far point. Clears it in well wide of the net. Now up against the boards. Huddy moving after that puck. Sutter goes in, carrying the puck is cut off. He's behind the net now. Tonelli's in there as well. He kicks it free, falls, pucks underneath him. And it's called for a face-off deep in the Team Canada zone. There's some good action there. Team Canada has to be careful not to turn the puck over in the mid zone. That's when the uh, Soviet players are so, what they're so good at. They can go from defense to offense, and catch you flat-footed at your blue line. Well, they look at player of the game. How about him? Well, he's had a fine game, that's for sure. He's given everything he has as he does it every night. Reminder that after the game, of course, the Labatt's player of the game awards. Tonelli has the goal in this hockey game so far. Coffey, Tonelli deflecting it out to center ice, just getting it out there, which is what they want to do. Idiot Kimaev. There's it ahead now along the boards for Kazatonov, who feeds it through to center ice. Chapella, he is, takes a hit as he unloaded that pass. Zubkov bearing it into the corner now, low. Round the boards, Tonelli deflects it out to center ice again. Back to get it is Kazatona. Canada makes a change. Gretzky comes on the ice. Kazatona clearing it past Gretzky. Over the line, hustling for it is Shevlin out in front. They shot it wide is Gimaev. Now back into the corner. Gimaev on the boards. Gretzky picks it up and he clears it to center ice. There'll be icing here as back to get it is Vladimir Zubkov. And as he touches it, we'll have a face off back inside the Team Canada zone. One nothing, Canada leading 16.48 left in regulation time. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Here's a little statistic for you, Darrell. Since the 637 mark of the second period, the Soviet Union has had two shots on goal. Here's Soviets trying to tee it up now. They roll it in and they hit it right on the stick. Out of center ice now comes Canada with Len Anderson bringing it in over the line now. Anderson in the corner. Gartner cutting for the net now. Anderson ripped up against the boards. Now in against the boards, Anderson. Anderson pokes it free and it's batted out of midair and out to center ice by Karutov. And it's Robinson. Robinson clearing it ahead, but he put it right on the stick of Larion off ahead for Svetlov. Svetlov trying to split through the defense. He's knocked down, and Robinson, I believe, is going to get the penalty. Well, a little bit of a cheap call there. Larry just tried to hold him up. I think his stick got hooked underneath, underneath, and underneath the arm of Stelnov. Well, here he comes, and as the stick got around him, he got a pretty good hook. Pretty and finally knocked down on the play. Well, Robinson will go off. I'd like to see Robinson go off on a penalty because you're losing a tremendous penalty killer on top of everything else. Well, he's very effective out there in front of the net. He's big. He's got a long reach. He can steer those uh, passes, uh, get, a, get a stick on him. Let's see if Canada can kill this, kill this off. Well, Soviet Union in the last two penalties have not had a shot on goal. That's the third straight penalty called against Team Canada. Now the penalties are even in the game at five minors apiece. Karutov will take the draw here inside the line. And from the faceoff, Larry Onoff overskated it, and Sutter digs it out. Now low around the boards, and it's deflected down the ice. Messier doing the job there. He heads for the bench, and Bourne comes on. Now the penalty killers are out there now. Low, Bork, Sutter, and Bourne. Has the tone off, and he threw it off. Bourne skate. Moving up is Zubkov. He's forced back now. Zubkov ahead. Larry Onoff leads it back into his own zone, and Zubkov is going to have to go back for it. Well, the Soviets have just not been organized. Kazatonov coming straight up ice to center ice. Kazatonov getting it to Makarov, and he's checked at center ice, and Messier sends it back to Perhukin at the blue line. Karutov out along the boards to center ice. On the wing for Larry Onoff. Drops it off for Makarov. Karutov's in front of the net as Makarov tries to set it up from the boards. Makarov, Canada goes into the box behind the net. Here's Lowe driving it off the boards and down the ice. Some great checking by Team Canada there. They're getting the sticks on those pucks, grabbing hold of the loose puck, and shooting it down the ice. All right, it's center ice now. It's Yashin to the line. Yashin trying to go around the defense, and he's chased out of there by Coffey. Loses the puck, Coffey covers up, and he sends it down the ice. 42 seconds left in the power play. Pair Bukin at the side of the net. Four checking is Messier. Ahead, Yashin. 
through center ice. It's Semenov. Semenov clearing to the wing. Now he gets it in front of the They score on the back end as Vasiliev cut in from the wing. Well, there's the play the Soviets like to do. They circle in the mid zone. They want to hit that line with speed. Three guys coming across together. We catch our defenseman back in a little bit. Nice play by Svetlov on his back end, right up in the top shelf. Well, they got a 1 1 tie. And there's that play in front of the net, and Peter's going across the goal mount. He just got it up over him now. Svetlov. Right into the arm of Pete Peters. Well, this is his first appearance in major international hockey, and Svetlov comes up with a very, very big goal. So it's a 1-1 tie. Face off at center ice now, Canada. The teams have divided power play goals. Sutter back inside his own zone. Robinson, Robinson at center ice now, the lead pass intended for Tonelli. Sutter digs it out, chops it into the Soviet zone. Tonelli, Ossie's behind the net as well. Tonelli roughed up against the glass now as he's checked in there by Stelnoff. Now it's cleared out to the blue line. Here's Coppy and the shot. And it went off a leg. Out at center ice and Coffee chops it up into the penalty timekeeper's bench. Face off in the center ice zone. Well, a 1-1 tie here with 14-14 left in regulation time. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Face off will be in the center ice zone. Peter Stasny will center a line now with Middleton. And Bellows. On the face off, it's back. Here, the Team Canada line moving up with the puck now is Bork, and he's offside on the play. It's Goulet that's playing the left wing on this line. So now, Glenn say they're juggling his lines a little bit. Stasny's filling in for Wayne Gretzky there on that line. Peter hasn't seen a lot of ice time tonight. He's got fresh legs. Wayne killed off the penalty. That's why Peter's out there. Bork right now drifting along, shot in. It's high off the glass. Goulet going up against the boards. And it's chopped along the board, but kept in right there. Stasny trying to dig it out and moves it in now. Along the boards, Goulet cleared through everybody's legs. And out of center ice, the Soviets breaking loose now with Gimaev. Gimaev to the line, and he is double teamed as he tried to split the defense of Lowe and Bork. Now it is Middleton ahead. Stasny at center ice now. Goulet, Goulet moving through center ice now. Drifts it in there. It's blocked by Moishkin. At the side of the net, Kazatona. That's a thrown off, shot it off a stick, a shot at center ice, and the pass intended for Gemayev was knocked away. Now cleared in, Robinson really reefed Vasiliev up against the boards. Nearly sent him over the boards. Here's Goulet with the long drifting shot. Back forward is Perbukin along the boards, and it went by everybody, and Robinson leaves it for Stasny. Stasny's checked at center ice. Now Karutov. Rudolph with that great speed, moving for the net. He circles the net, tried to throw it back against the floor, and Robinson was with him the whole way. Now along the boards, Canada will make a change as Karutov picks it up. Ahead for Makarov. Makarov with Larionov. Over the line, Makarov trying to go through. He scores! He scores! Tremendous effort by Makarov. What an individual effort that was there. Soviets have been picking it up a little. Here's Makarov on the two defensemen. Here's Larry inside out there. And beautiful play on his backhand. Well, not much Larry Robinson could do. Tremendous fake. And then there's the goal. And then he slides into the goal post. And now it's 2-1 to one for the Soviet Union. Makarov scoring his sixth goal of this tournament. And the Soviet Union here in the third period has forged ahead. Now Canada now facing an uphill battle. Huddy against the boards. Gartner there's it ahead. Went around it right at his line with Semenov. Ahead, Yashin. Yashin to the line now. Yashin getting set. Shoots it at the save by Peters. And he holds on. Well, the Soviets have picked up the tempo. That's for sure in the last four or five minutes of play. They're attacking the line with speed. It's been a long time between shots on goal, but then their 17th and 18th shots went into the net. Sutter taking the draw against Colvin. 
or at least against uh, Semenov with a face off behind the net. Listed out to center ice now. Sutter is upended. Sutter comes up with it now. Three on one, and it's offside. And I don't know why. We'll have to look at the replay on that one. Somebody apparently preceded the puck over the line, and it was a three on one. Might even been a four on one there. Team Canada was all up on the play here. Well, there's Bossy, and he stepped over the line just a shade too quickly. A little over anxious. Boy, they look at the look at the white jerseys going in. Four Team Canada sweaters on the attack. The goal scored at 5:19 and 7:08. Savetlov, his fourth goal of the tournament from Semenov and Yashin at 5:19, and then Makarov, his sixth of the tournament from Karutov at 7:08. And it's two to one. Peters leaving it for Huddy at the side of his net. Now he backhands it into the corner, up against the boards. Soviets controlling it in the zone. Sports off, checked in there by Wilson. Wilson, Sutter in there as well as they work it along the boards. Barnikov. Barnikov holding it in. He'll get the face off in the Team Canada zone. And the score with the Soviets scoring two quick ones here in the third period. Two to one. And this is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Steve Eisenman, you've had a great uh, series so far. Now I have to ask you the question. Can our team, Team Canada, come back? Well, I certainly think they can. Uh, you know, we've had a great game so far. Everybody's playing well. And... Uh, the Soviets made a couple of nice plays, but uh, you know there's still lots of time left, and our guys are still playing well. And uh, you know I don't think it's ever over, and it's, uh, I think we got a good chance. Thank you, thank you a lot. Middleton breaking in now, trying to roll it in front. Bork was pinching in from the point, and the net came off its moorings again. Well, face off again, deep in the Soviet. No, they're going to put it outside the blue line. A Team Canada player is the one that knocked it off its pins, apparently. No, now they're going to put it in the face off circle. They pointed to the spot outside the blue line and then change their mind. Team Canada has to be patient here. They can't try to force the Soviets uh, and get three guys caught. Those two on ones and three on twos can kill us. We still have lots of time here to get a goal. Well, there's Kazatonov clearing it around the board. Checkmate against the board. The Soviets break up, but Coben couldn't reach that rolling puck. Barnakov moving up. He's checked. Bork is checked again at center ice and is finally cleared in by Zubko. Out of his net, Peters giving it to Bork ahead for Middleton. Middleton just sends it back deep in his own zone. Kevin Lowe now. Lowe stopped behind his net. Soviets now getting more aggressive in the Team Canada end with the lead. Now Lowe. Lowe cradling that puck. Sends it out to Gretzky at center ice now. Gretzky couldn't hold the puck. There, can check at the blue line, and it's in deep, and Kazatonov's got it. Kazatonov out at center ice, deflected down into the Team Canada zone. Robinson will touch it. And icing will be called for a face-off back on the Soviet end. Eleven ten left in regulation time. At this point, I guess we should mention that overtime does exist in these playoff games. Sudden death overtime. They'll take a 15-minute intermission and then come back out on the ice and play it until somebody scores. Messier. Soviets, Sergei Shepilev, now from the blue line, kept in, then lost by Paul Coffey. Robinson back at his blue line. Robinson ahead. Messier had trouble handling that puck out. Bounces loose inside the zone. Robinson over skates it. But coming back now is Team Canada at center race with Glenn Anderson picking it up. He lost it right at the line and then carries on over the line. The bouncing puck is finally cleared out to center ice and knocked down by Paul Coffey. Coffey. Over the line comes Messier. Messier still with that puck. Drops it off. Gartner trailing on the play and it's cleared back along the boards for Vasiliev. Robinson back to his defense. Ahead for Anderson. Anderson to the line, but he can't get it over the line. Waits for Messier to get back on side, then hoists it in there. And it goes up over the glass behind Soviet goaltender Vladimir Moishkin. Face off will be just outside the blue line. Well, the Soviets are checking very close. They're keeping a third man high at all times. Not letting Canada attack that line with speed. Uh, they're picking up their wingers and doing a fine job of disorientating Canada at this point. Well, Mike Bossy out there along with Sutter, Antonelli, Larionov, big line for the Soviets. Makarov, who's got the puck now, along with Perutov. Look at that move by Makarov just inside his line. Now he's at center ice. There's it away. Starikov, he's checked now. Hopping over the line is Sutter. Sutter going in all the way. Back in. 
He shot it wide. Now Tonelli takes it out. There's that line again along the boards, and out come the Soviets with Larionov and Karutov. And Larionov makes it, shoots it at the post. And then it hit Wilson coming back and goes wide of the net. Now it's center ice, Sutter. Sutter along the boards. He's checked, but it's cleared in. Starikov's got it for the Soviets. Stelnov on this side. At center ice, it's Larionov. Larionov over the line now. Larionov behind the net. After it is Pakov. He's checked. Moving up now is Wilson to center ice. Wilson to the line. Wilson dropping it off. Moving with it is Tonelli. Tonelli's checked. It winds up in the corner. The Soviets in possession now with Kirutov. Out to the line, and it was over top of Gretzky. Gretzky, over for Bork. Bork at center ice, and he shoots it to the line. Soviets making a change here as Larry on off, sends it deep into his own zone, Sukhov. Out to center ice, past Kretzky, past middle, and he shoots it in. Peters out of his net. He clears it off the boards on the far side. Out at center ice now, that bouncing pass went right by Goulet. The Soviets in their own zone. That's the tone off. Zubkov, Bork, leads it right back to his defense. Low. Cleared in, but Kazatonov was in the way of that. Comes over the line, brought right back out by Semyonov. Now back to the line again. Kazatonov, Yashin. And it was batted ahead, I believe. It'll be a face off outside uh, in the center ice zone. So the Soviet Union leading Canada 2 to 1. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. 11-12 remaining in regulation time. The Soviet Union leading Canada 2-1 to one on two quick goals here in the third period. Canada came into the third period with the 1-0 lead. Gartner ahead, over the line, cleared right back out to center ice by Semenov. Robinson's got it. Robinson ahead and over the line. Now comes Gartner. Gartner hustling after that puck over, skated it. Losing his stick on the play with Zubkov. Check is thrown in there. They try to move it out over the line. Semenov is checked by Robinson. And it's hoisted back inside the zone. Zubkov then trying to duck away from the checking of Anderson. And he's out at center ice. Gartner brings it back in again. Gartner, the shot. The save is made. Tremendous low shot by Gartner. Now back to the line comes Semenov. Over the line. Yashin wasn't ready for that pass. Yashin moving in now. East check. Lose it in front. They shot it wide. Now back out to the line, Kazatonov, his shot is blocked by Robinson, and Team Canada breaks out. Robinson, over the line now, Robinson heading for the net. Robinson behind the net, being checked from behind, and he tapped it back there where Semenov picked it up. Semenov takes a check as he passed the puck away. Out at center ice for the Soviets, Mikhail Varnikov, he couldn't hold it. Canada comes back. Through center ice, here's Tonelli, trying to circle the defense, out in front, Bossy! And what a chance, but he was busy trying to fend off a check there and couldn't see the pass. Bork at center ice, Colvin. Now along the boards, Barnikov clears it in. Bork is behind his net, getting it from Peters. Along the boards, and Canada starts out, Sutter. At center ice for Bossy. Bossy goes through the defenseman's legs. Ilya Letinov unable to hold that. It's cleared along the boards, but not out. Now Barnikov. Low back inside his own blue line. Bork. Rink wide pass. Gretzky has to stop as the man was offside. Middle also went offside. Now it's cleared loose in the center ice zone. Gretzky. He's got it again. There's it to Middle. Middle battling a bouncing puck. And it's cleared to center ice. And And a face off outside the blue line. Well, Canada doesn't have a whole lot of time to get something going here. You notice they're not getting the chances they were earlier in the game. Maybe they got to start dumping that puck on Michigan, maybe taking a few face offs in the Soviet zone to get some attack going. They also have to double team the Soviet player so they knock a guy off the puck that there's another guy to pick up that loose puck. Gretzky losing the draw there to Gimaev. Over the line, though, comes Middleton. Over skating it is Bourne. Middleton at the point that bounces over the line and is called on the offside again as Wilson flipped it in with Bourne trapped along with Gretzky. So another faceoff outside the blue line. There's Bob Bourne of the New York Islanders from Kindersley, Saskatchewan. Gretzky taking the draw. It's over the line, but the Soviets have possession. Clear, but not out. Now oh, getting it to center ice is still not. And coming back is Bourne. Did a nice job ahead to Gretzky now. Middle is there. Middle in. He shot it wide. Middle and got his stick on it, but shot it wide. Now Canada trying to get the face off inside the zone. It's kept in. 
Coffey. Here's the shot right off. It's blocked right in front of the net. Now Wilson. Wilson into the corner. Horn. Gretzky. Out in front. Clear it in front. They bang away. Gretzky. Gretzky turning. Clears it for Wilson. This shot. shot is partially deflected and winds up in the crowd behind the Soviet goal. 2-2 Two -two tie. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. 5-18 left in regulation time. If this one is tied at the end of three periods, there will be a 15-minute rest period and it will play overtime. And I'll tell you something, Darrell. The Soviet Union, in all of its illustrious hockey history has never played in an overtime game. They don't know what it's all about. They're Vulcan. I don't imagine they'll play it any differently than they play in regulation time. Puck is cleared in offside and we'll have a face off outside the blue line. It'll be interesting to see what happens in this next five minutes. All copy down at the side of the net along with Pete Peters. Shots on goal 33 to 19 favor Team Canada. They held a one nothing lead gave up Two goals early in the third period, and then Doug Wilson has scored from Gretzky and Bourne at 13.59 to tie it up. Well, Team Canada pretty much going with three lines for most of the evening. Stasny and Bellows haven't played that much. And they're giving everything they have out there. You see a lot of him the rest of the way. On the faceoff, puck is cleared into the Soviet zone. Still knocks back there, clears it around the boards, pinching in is Wilson. He goes down, puck is loose to the Pile down there. Robinson now takes it to center ice and gets it ahead to Wilson, who is quickly on his feet. Back to Robinson, back to Wilson. To Robinson. Ahead at center ice, past Gretzky. Moving up now. And turning it over the line. Now Coleman trying to go through it. It's tied up by Robinson. What a great game Robinson has played. Buck is in front of the net. Knocked down by Wilson. Wilson has it. Out at center ice now. Team Canada over the line. Bourne. Bourne moving for the corner. Taps it past Starikoff. Behind the net, though. Covering up now. Moving in after that puck. Trying to get it was Bork. He pinched in, nearly got caught on the play, but the Soviets unable to control it at center ice, and Bork will get it in his own zone. Ray Bork ahead at center ice. It's low, shooting it in. Hustling it in. 
Foster in the corner now. Gardner and Anderson. Anderson clears it to the corner on the far side. Makawa. Makawa up along the boards. Messi drops it to Anderson. Look at Gardner in front of the net. The shot is wide. Now here's Bork shooting it into the corner. As the tone offs there, he starts out for the Soviet Union. A rink wide pass, Makawa. Makawa, Larry Ono. He shoots it to the side of the net. Loose at the side. Now Messier after it, turning his Kazatona, clears it in front, the pass went behind everybody. Out of center ice, it's Gardner. Gardner to the line, along with Anderson. Gardner drops it. Here's Messier, in front, the shot is wide of the net. Moving in is Robinson. Robinson, into the corner he goes, behind the net now. Gardner, back behind the net for Be Anderson, out in front. Oh, it goes right up on Mushkin, and he alertly caught it and held it. Good try by Anderson there, he almost got Mushkin off guard. A little backhand shot. 321 left in regulation time. There's Anderson. the play at the side of the net. Anderson's out to the side here. Just about put it in. Again, Team Canada going for the net, going for that rebound. Tom well, Wishkin anticipating a pass out, and he pulled away from the post. And really had to go in on the short side on him. Big face off here, Sutter. The face off against Seminoff. From the face off now, Sutter is tied up and it's Yashin who sends it out to center ice. Poppy's got it out there, shoots it right back in again. Moishkin out of the net. Erbuchen back there, cleared off the boards now. Bossy, he spun around. Here's Sutter, Bossy, back out to the blue line now. Poppy shooting at the end and it's blocked in front of the net. And out come the Soviets now with Billy Latinov. Yashin after it, Robinson in against the boards. Fighting off the checking in there. They bang away against the boards. Tonelli's in there, Yashin being checked by Tonelli. He spun around, players still battling and it's cleared to an open wing and Sutter picks it up. Sutter. Back in front of the net for Robinson. Robinson coming out to center ice with 2.40 left. Cleared to the Soviet line. Now Ilya Latinov ahead over the line now. The Soviets and it's cleared away and back down into the Soviet zone. Middleton racing after it. That's picked up by Stelnov. Stelnov starting out. He shoots that long lead pass over the line now. And it's top three after it now in the corner. Trying to find the man in front is Vasiliev around behind the net rolls through everybody in Middleton starts off. Middleton over skates it, it's kept in. Now Bork, Bork, low at center ice, it's past everybody. Two minutes left. Starikov takes a hit right at the blue line and Middleton's hurt. Coming over the line now, sports off. Sports off shooting it to the side of the net. Now low in the corner, ahead at center ice now. Team Canada trying to get out of the zone. Oh, face off outside the Team Canada blue line with 1.45 remaining in regulation time. Take a look at Middleton. He was jammed against the boards by Starikov. Middleton sitting down at the end of the bench now. You can see the pain. Uh, it looked like he jammed his wrist. He might have knocked his wind out. I see him sitting on the bench there. He seems to be not too bad now. He lost the wind a little bit. Then a tough hockey game, but a clean one. One goal for each team on the power play. And a 2-2 tie with 1.44 remaining now as Wilson gets the pass out to center ice. Leading the rush is Gardner. He's down over the line now. Gardner with the speed, but he overskated the puck. Now gets it. Behind the net, he's checked. Also in there is Messier. Messier. Jammed up against the boards by Larry Onoff. It's cleared off a stick. Messier's got the puck out in front of the net now. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. And it is covered up finally. What an incredible chance for Canada, and they just couldn't put it in. Just some tough luck again around the net there. Oh, Michigan's hurt, or he's just tired. And look at the loose puck playing here. Nice play by Coffey. Look at this, oh, right into the Soviet player. There's Coffey sitting in the crease. Had it, had, had it gone in, I don't know if they would have counted it or not with our player in the crease like that. Oh, now we've got Mushkin slowly getting up as you see Coffey just sitting in the goal crease. 
How close can you come? 120 left in regulation time. Well, it's not very often the Soviets get 35 shots against them, and a lot of those shots were good opportunities by Team Canada. As Eddie Westfall said earlier, the start of the game, he figured Team Canada got nine or ten good chances, but they've had lots of chances tonight. Well, there's the whole story, Team Canada. Now, here is the big face-off. They're all important, of course, down in the zone, but they've got a big one here, and they've got the shooters out. Well, they've got Doug Wilson. Messier is one of the stronger guys in the National League. If he can get it back to Wilson. Messier against Lariano. On the face-off, Messier tried to control it, but the Soviets have it now as Makarov circles back deep in his own zone. There's it to Perbuchen. Perbuchen starts out, takes a hit, but got the pass away, and it's knocked down at center ice by Coffey. Waits for Mates to get on side and shoots it back in again. In the corner, Gardner. Gardner just clearing it around the boards. Wilson moves after it. Wilson, back behind the net. Gardner. Gardner moving, takes a big hit from Vilya Letinov. And the Soviets start out now with Larionov. He's got tremendous speed, but his pass was way ahead of Karuta. Bossi off the boards in the center ice once again. Ilya Latinov with 45 seconds remaining. Spun around. Here comes Canada with Bossi. Over the line. Bossi stopping up. He's looking for the man. There's it in front. And moving in. Couldn't convert it. Now the Soviets again. Sutter. He takes the puck away inside the zone. Bossi along with Tonelli. Tonelli couldn't hold it. Now it's Perutov, 25 seconds left. Perutov over the line, it's checked away and Makarov's got it. Makarov, now back into the Team Canada zone with 17 seconds left. Puck is along the boards, taken by Semenov. He's chased up against the boards. Sutter's in there. There are eight seconds left in regulation time. Canada coming out. Sutter, Sutter leading the rush. Gets it over to the wing. Canelli, and the siren goes. And we are going to overtime. Oh, just a great, great hockey game. Who's going to be the hero? I'll tell you. For the first time in the history of Soviet Union hockey, they are going to play in an overtime game. The teams are heading for the dressing room. They'll flood the ice here, and then they will play sudden death. Team Canada right to move on to play Sweden in the Canada Cup Finals. Uh, Team Canada have had great offensive chances they've been putting the pressure on as they did the last part of that period there and hopefully they can do that going into the overtime well Moishkin as you see him there along with Kazatonov they'll go off for a much needed rest he has had himself a night the shots on goal 35 to 20 favor team Canada but we've got a tie hockey game this is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Well, there's the story of the third period. Canada entered the third period leading 1-0. Goals by Svetlov and Makarov. And suddenly it was 2-1 for the Soviet Union. But Canada dug in and came back. And Wilson scored from Gretzky at 13.59 to tie this game up. It was the goal that has set this game into overtime. Canada dominant in the shots block, certainly. 35-20 through three periods. The most notable individual on Team Canada is Michelle Goulet, who has eight shots on goal in the game. Larry Robinson has four. Bossy with three. Also, Mike Gartner with three shots. So Canada's had a pretty balanced attack in this game, but they managed just the two goals. They've had their chances. As we watch the Soviets come out onto the ice for the first time in their national team's history to play an overtime period. Well, like somebody said down there earlier, let's hope it's a good goal. I want Canada to score. I know the finals would be a lot better with Canada in it. It's been a while since we beat the Soviet team. and uh, been a long time since, uh, well, we beat them in the uh, regular round of the 1981 Canada Cup uh, in action in the World Championships, of course. It goes way back to 1961. Well, there's Pete Peters. They needed a big goaltending job. They got it tonight. Peters, especially early in this hockey game when he saw the Soviets gain a 9-3 edge on shots on goal through the first 13 minutes of the hockey game. And he was the man who kept them out, allowed Canada to get into the 1-0 lead. And the last overtime game, a familiar one. Back against Czechoslovakia, what was it, 11.35, Daryl? Seems like yesterday. 11.35 of the overtime period. There's Vladimir Moishkin of Moscow Dynamo, the longtime backup goaltender for the Soviet Union. Daryl Sittler scored the overtime goal in 1976 to win the Canada Cup. And 
Victor Tianov. Now, what did he tell his team about overtime? Well, the Soviets, as we know, they're very good defensively. And it's a game of mistakes out there. But if Team Canada continue, can continue to put that pressure on the Soviet defense but that they have throughout the period, they're going to create some scoring chances. Well, here we go. And out there for Canada will be a very effective line of Tonelli, Sutter, Bossy, on defense, Robinson and Coffey. The Soviets will send their gunners out. And for the Soviets, this line of Larionov, Makarov, and Karutov have a total of six shots on goal, six of the 20 that the Soviets have taken in the game. They are dangerous. They can end it quickly. So Canada has to be ready to play right off the top. Sutter taking the draw against Larionov. And it's Larionov who wins the draw. Now cleared to the line. Sutter picks up the puck and golfs it into the Soviet zone. Wishkin and against the boards. Leaves it for Kazatonov. He's checked against the boards. But then coming back is Larionov. He clears it out to center ice now. Zubkov to the line. His shot. Love by Peters. He throws it off on the wing for Sutter. Sutter out at center ice now for Bossy with Tonelli. Bossy shooting it in around the glass. Tonelli digging it out on the far side. Kicks it behind the net for Bossy. Bossy, Robinson pinches in at the point. Fights off the check. Gets it back to the point. It's cleared into the corner. Reaching for it is Bossy. Tonelli goes down. He's trying to circle the goal post. And I think he knocked the net off its pins with his knee as he was trying to reach for that pass. Well, once again, Team Canada are sending their forwards to the net. That's how both their goals were scored, and that's where they've been getting most of their chances. Now the Soviets will make a change now, and I imagine so will Team Canada. They have been running short shifts here. And Ray Bork comes out. It'll be Middleton, Gartner, Messier, now Gretzky. And Goulet will be the line. Middleton, Gretzky, Goulet. Goulet, don't forget, with the eight shots on goal. Low and Bork. On the defense for the Soviets from Moscow Dynamo, Semenov, Svetlov, and Yashin. Gretzky to take the draw against Semenov. Puck is dropped. Gretzky gets it back to the blue line. Low shoots it. It hit Goulet. Shot! Oh! What a chance! What a tremendous save! And now against the boards, it's cleared down the ice by the Soviets. There'll be no icing. Peters plays the puck to the side of the net. Bork along the boards now. Goulet can't control it against the boards against Bela Litvinov. Now, Canada with Bork clearing it to center ice. What a tremendous scoring chance Canada had. Now, here's Gretzky. Gretzky to the line now, flips it in, reaches for a rebound as it's blocked by the defense. Belia Letinov clears it to the wing. Over the line they come once again, the drop fast, moving through the crowd and trying to get the shot away with Semenov. They still have the puck, it's cleared to the line. Keeping it in, Belia Letinov, knocked down by Gretzky, and it's sent to center ice by Goulet. Sliding down into the Soviet zone now. Air Buchan, Air Buchan, Messier at center ice, ducks away from the check, the bouncing puck bounces into the Soviet zone, it's cleared off the boards and back out, and Coffey's got it. Ahead for Anderson. Anderson over the line now, fighting off the check from Belia Letinov. In against the boards, the Soviets control it, it's Coben along the boards to the line, big hit there, thrown by Wilson, loose puck comes to Messier. Messier, rink-wide pass. Soviets. Now the lead pass for Anderson. Anderson trying to hustle over the line. He's knocked down as he crossed the line. Lowe's got the puck at center ice. Back to the defense for Coffey. Off the boards. The Soviets. Per Vulcan ahead. Soviets trying to move up ice. The bouncing puck comes to Kevin Lowe at his own blue line. Trying to get it to Messier. That pass was intercepted by Coven. He goes in deep. Lowe is with him. Lowe behind the net. He's triple team back there. Sports off. Trying to get out in front. He's knocked down. Now near the line, Starikov in the crowd. And the save is made by Peters. Now to the side of the net. And Canada picks it up. Anderson. Anderson, he's got a man free. And he can't get it to him. Ice, at least the offside is called. And we'll have a face-off outside the blue line. 2-2 tie in overtime. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. That save Michigan made on Goulet reminded me of a save that Rogi Vashon made in overtime against the Czechoslovakian team on Milan Novi, a great glove save by Michigan. Here comes Ray Bork through center ice. He crosses the center line, shoots it in, took a bad bounce off.
off the glass and bounced in front, but there was nobody there. Soviets trying to get organized in their own zone. Now they come to center ice. Kazatonov coming through center and forced back now. Kazatonov, he had men offside, now forced back once again. Now clears it off a stick at center ice. Reaching forward is Gimaev. He clears it into the Team Canada zone. Peters off the boards. Collected there. Shepelev clears it now ahead, but now Tonelli's got it. Tonelli ahead for Bossy. Bossy at center ice, shoots it off a leg. It's back at center ice once again. Now here's Bossy. He's over the line. Gets it over for Tonelli. Tonelli going in now, forced back. Tonelli trying to feed it ahead. Gets the puck again against the boards. Now behind the net for Sutter. The Bossy back out in front, and Tonelli was there. Couldn't get a stick on it. Coffee in a crowd. It's loose. And they reach for it. A pile up in front. Sutter had a great chance and just couldn't get it in. Well, this line is a chance is all night long. The Soviet defenseman actually tackles Tonelli. Tonelli in front of the net there. Well, they cleared in front, went just into a crowd. Look at this. Lots of clutching and grabbing there. Oh. Canada's had the chances. This is from behind the net. Watch the pile up right in front of the goal mouth now. Pushkin down. Bossy's in there. Sutter's in there. Tonelli's in there. They've been ganging the net. Here's Gretzky now to take the draw against Lariana. Back to the blue line. Coffee shooting it through. Buck in the corner now. After it for the Soviets is Pervulkin. Cleared to center ice. Robinson over for Coffee. Coffee ahead. He shoots it in now. Racing in after it is Goulet along with Gretzky. Cleared to Middleton. Soviets take over inside the zone. At center ice, Larionov. He shoots it in. Peters. We're in sudden death overtime. Coffee. Coffee into the corner on the far side now. Into the corner again. Karutov. Karutov looking for a man. He's chased off the puck, and Robinson's got it. Robinson. Coffee on this side. Coffee. Ahead at center ice. It's off the skate of Middleton. The pass was a bit behind him at center ice. Goulet reaching for it, but Karutov comes up with it. Karutov. Vilya Letinov. Vilya Letinov near the line now. Coffee takes over, comes back. There's a pass. He tried to feather it through there for Middleton. The Soviets have it again. Makarov. Makarov with Robinson. Drops it back. Larionov was trailing on the play. Didn't see the pass. But here's Karutov. And it's checked away from him by Robinson. Now Gretzky ahead. Anderson. Anderson with a jump on the defense. He's all down. There'll be a penalty. The Soviets will play a man short. Well, that's Lariano's third penalty tonight, and I think all three of them were holding. But there's a guy with the speed of Anderson. He can draw guys into taking penalties on him with that great speed of his. Well, he had a step on him. We'll take a look at it, but he got just that little bit of a step as he caught the flat foot at the defense. Looked like it was going to get beat. Starikov there. He doesn't haul him down. He's home free on the backhand. Big chance for Team Canada here. 445. Lariona off for holding. Canada's power play has looked good, although they have just the one goal. The power play. Messier out there with Bossy. The point men will be Bork, Wilson. Messier will take the draw. 2-2 two, two in overtime. A big opportunity for Canada as Messier is chased out of there and Len Anderson comes in to take the draw. On the face off in the corner, it's Messier. Messier, he's got Bossy in front. Messier, you got to step out. He tried to force it through there. A lot of action in front of the goal mouth. Now, poke three behind the net now. It's Anderson. Anderson into the corner. They hustle after it now along the boards. And it is Messier. Anderson digging after that puck against the boards. Messier digging it loose. And the puck winds up behind the net now. Cleared to the point. Kept in there by Cork. Now it's flipped out to center ice and down into Team Canada territory. Sports off will go in, but it's Peters who plays the puck up along the boards. Bork had a player's trap as he fell. Here comes Team Canada with Wilson. Now to Bork. Bork's over the line now. Bork dropping it back to Gretzky. Gretzky with some room in front of the net. Gretzky shoots it. Right on. And Mushkin goes down and holds on. 
Great move by Wayne Gretzky on the defenseman. Michigan, he's been the hero tonight for the Soviet Union. Here's Gretzky cutting across laterally. Makes a little deke on the defenseman. There's lots of time to shoot it here. He's hooked a little bit. Michigan's there right there to save it. Team Canada jamming the net again. Another look at it again. Oh, what moves? Those are Gretzky, but he's moving laterally. He's so difficult to stop. Well, he stays out there. 1-12 left in the power play. Listen to the crowd. Overtime against the Soviets. Gretzky will take the draw. And who are they going to send in there? They're a little slow in figuring out who they want to take the draw. Finally, it's Gimayev who's going to move in to take it. Is he? Well, Gimayev doesn't want to take it. And let the defenseman take it. Belia let him off. Had a check. The Czechoslovakian linesman from the faceoff. Now Bossy. Bossy fighting off a check. Shoots it. Up off the glass now. Behind the net is Gretzky. Gretzky back to Bossy. Cutting in front of the net now. It's behind the net. Gretzky to Bossy. Tonelli's in front. Bossy. Bossy fading to the boards. Back out to the blue line for Coffey. Coffey in for Bossy. Bossy moving in now. Shoots it. Hit the side of the net. Tonelli at the side of the net. He's being checked in there by Perbukin. Gretzky gets it loose, but he can't hold it. And it's cleared down the ice by the Soviets. Peters behind his own net plays it up along the boards for Robinson to Bossy. Bossy ahead for Anderson. Anderson going in. He's checked there against the boards by Vilyaletinov at the side of the Gretzky. Out in front and a big defensive play there by Svetlov. Out come the Soviets at center ice now. Svetlov in over the line. Svetlov shot and it's blocked by Robinson. Now at the side of the net. And it's Canada out at center ice now. Canada leading the rush. Over the line, backhanded behind the net by Mike Gartner. Anderson after it against the boards on the far side. Gretzky, it hops high up against the boards. Gretzky still got that puck, leaves it against the boards, leaves the puck alone, is cleared down the ice, up actually over the glass, and we'll have another face off. Well, some good action there by Team Canada, some good scoring chances. Sooner or later, one of them has to go in. Penalty has expired. got four shots uh, one shot on goal during that power play it was a good one what a gallant effort Canada is putting in here against this Soviet team through two tie in overtime set for the face off bounce back inside the Soviet zone where Zubkov has it Zubkov playing with the puck in there he faces some poor checking pressure. Now gets it along the boards for Makarov. Makarov fighting off a check. Gets down to the line now. Low squeezes him against the boards, but he carries on. Sutter's got the puck. Puts it behind the net. It goes out now for Kaiser. Throwing off the shot. The save. Steve Peters is right there. High, high. He saw it all the way. We'll take a break. We are... Seven minutes and six seconds into the overtime. 2-2 two, two tie. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Well, the Soviets have their big line out. One of the best lines in the world. Larianov, Karutov, and Makarov will face off deep in the Team Canada zone. Messier will take the draw. This is very important. Win the draw. It is flipped up against the boards. Good move there by Gartner, and he plays it out to center ice. Pass. Anderson back in his own zone. Kazatonov who stops behind the net and starts out. Kazatonov feeding it off the boards for Makarov. Makarov checked off the puck there by Anderson. Back in over the line is uh, Gardner. He made a great move against the boards. Got Wilson in front, but he couldn't get the puck to him. Wilson as it rolls along the dasher board. Kazatonov back near the line, but Messier keeps it in. Behind the net, rolls out in front. Anderson along the boards now. Behind the net. Gartner stepping away from a check. Now feeds it back again. Buck is clear to the side of the net. Has the tone off, but he cleared it right onto the stick of Anderson. Gets it again. Now against the boards. Out at center ice. The lead pass. Over the line. Here's Larry on off, and he's checked off the puck, and Coffey comes back out. Goulet moving across center ice, but Coffey gives it to Goulet. Goulet flips it in there. High in the air. It bounces. 
And the Soviets with Larionov clearing at the center ice. It's down into the Team Canada zone in Middleton. Middleton just ducks away from a check. Pokes it ahead now for Gretzky. Gretzky for Goulet. Two on two. Here comes Bork. The shot. It's wider than that. It's the netting behind. Starikov's back there. Middleton moves after it. It hops over his stick and it's at least Karuta out to center ice now. Moving through center ice is Starikov. He takes a check up against the boards. Still up against the boards. Karutov moving in. Now to the side of the net. And it's Bork. Bork ahead for Gretzky. Gretzky is checked at center ice as Coben took him off the puck. Now Peters out of his net. Feeds it back against the flow. And finally Lowe controls it. Low off the boards and down the ice. Canada looking for a whistle. And back to get it will be Stelnoff. And we'll have a face off in the Team Canada zone on the icing. Overtime. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Shots on goal in the overtime. Four to three favor Team Canada. That's been a well-balanced overtime. What a grinding kind of a game. We know we've got two tired hockey teams out there now. Well, there's no stopping, that's for sure. On the face-off, it's Coffee behind his own net. Coffee. The handling with it and flips it out to center ice. He was trying to find Sutter out there, flipping it high in the air. It's an old deal of point play. Flip it high up near the clock and let it come down. And the breaking forward. Well, if you have those guys with speed and it lands properly, uh, you can get a breakaway out of a play such as that. Well, the point used to get that backspin on it and it just kind of lie there flat for the charging forward to pick it up. And Sutter knew what was happening. See the smile on his face. It didn't work. Coffee now along the boards. Here's Tonelli. Tonelli to the line now. Tonelli turning, fighting off a check. Sutter in the corner. Sutter still with that puck. Sutter fighting it off now. Rolls to the side of the net and Bossy had to go off his leg. Out at center ice now the Soviets with Svetlov. Svetlov dropping it off now and he's turned around and the puck is batted out to center ice once again. Ilya Letinov cleared back into the Team Canada zone. Peters out of the net. Peters flipping it along the boards. Tonelli's there. Tonelli fights off a check, works it along the boards himself, and he clears it to an open wing. Now it's Bossy to Sutter to Robinson. Robinson fanned on him and had to go back for it. Now swung and a shot into the Team Canada bench as they were making a change, so we got a face off in the center ice zone. We are now 9.55 into sudden death overtime. As you see, the big bird who has been just monumental in this hockey game. He's logged a lot of ice time. Team Canada playing with pretty well four or five defensemen most of the game and they're playing with ten forwards. Uh, Dazny and Bellows have not seen very much ice time at all. They've got to be getting tired. That's Robinson doesn't love it at the line offside. You see that shot of Robinson on the bench. I mean, this is the essence of the game. Let's take these guys into overtime. There he is. Well, he knows what the feeling is to win. He's been on a few cup teams in the last Canada uh, Cup in 76. And, uh, 76, he says, I was a kid here. Now I'm the old man. They call me Gramps. And it's fired up into the Soviet bench that time, so another face-off. And then there's the Soviet bench, and I'll tell you something, conditioning or not, they are tired too. So look at Billy Letinov, right at the end of the bench there. There's been a lot of hockey played in 10 days, a lot of travel in between games, and uh, it does take a toll on you, but it's all heart and soul right now. All right, they don't want to come this far and lose it. Losing along center ice. Now they try to hit the breaking Gartner, but just couldn't get the puck to him. It winds up in the corner now. Vasily up in deep. Played around the boards. Anderson against the boards on this side now. Shoots it out to center ice. And now off the boards and Bork moves up. Bork. Bork had to fade back as he was double teamed right at the line. Now fed out Gartner and deflected down into the Soviet zone. Zupkov now at center ice. Shepelev shooting it in. And it's Bork. Going back for it, Bork along the boards, and that's called on the icing. We have a face off in the Soviet zone. Well, the pace has slowed down a little bit in the last two or three minutes. Taking a breather. 9-19 left in the first overtime period. There's Kevin Lowe. Gretzky out on the ice now, along with Middleton and Goulet. Wouldn't they love a Canada Cup to go on with that Stanley Cup? Oh, what a year that would be. There's Gretzky, and they didn't take it fairly. He's cutting across the face-off circle with Makarov. 
We got power against power out there now as Victor Tianoff has sent his big line out there to play against Gretzky. From the face off back to the blue line, Wilson with that big shot. It's right on. And Gretzky was there, parked on the goal mouth, but Mushkin made the save and deflected it into the corner. The Soviets at center ice now. It's fed off the boards right down to the Team Canada goal. Peters leaves it for Wilson. Doug Wilson back into the corner, past Coffey. Now it's taken by Karutov. Karutov along the line, still has that puck, makes the move. He's tied up by Coffey, no penalty. Now in the corner, Makarov trying to move it along the boards. Gretzky's in there on top of him. It's going to have to be a blatant one before Mike Noah is going to call a penalty in this overtime. 2-2 two, two, tie. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Well, another big face-off. Sutter will take the draw against Tobin. Well, I think that Tianoff has made his adjustments to get his big line one away from this line, and this line has been so good offensively. Off the four checking that they've done. Sutter, Tonelli. Tonelli has just been incredible again, especially along the boards. Set for the draw. On the face off now. In deep, that's Kevin Lowe. Here's Tonelli. Another battle along the boards with Bealey Litanoff. He's taken two players out with him there, Coburn and Bealey Litanoff. Tonelli just moving it along the boards. And it finally winds up in the corner. Now, along the boards it goes again. Tonelli picks it up, can't corral it. There's in front, now out comes Sutter, along with Tonelli and Bossy on a three on two. Bossy's over the line. It flips high in the air, bounces back, goes by everybody. And out at center ice once again, it's Canada. Bork, shooting it in. Behind the net. It is Per Vulcan. Cleared back in again, out in front of the net, and knocked down in front of the net there. Here's Wilson moving in. Out come the Soviets on a two on one. Only Coffee is back. Over the line, Coburn, and Coffee! Great defensive play in Canada, and transition back they come. To the line, Coffee dropped it off. Here's Tonelli moving in. Tonelli to the boards. Around behind the net for Sutter. Sutter clears it out in front, went off a leg. Now Tonelli doing all that work again, and he takes two players down with him. Back out to the blue line. Coffee takes the shot, turns with it, fires it in there, deflects over top of the net. Tonelli after that puck. Tonelli ducks the check. Back on the blue line. Here's another shot. He's... Standing again. Just before that, Coffey made a great stop on a two-on-one save. Two-on-one play, he comes back and puts it in the net. What a great moment for Canada. From the ash heap, Team Canada defeats the Soviet Union in overtime. Not only coming off the very, very Loose performances during the regular part of this tournament. A big loss and a resounding loss to the Soviet Union team. Canada dug back, came from behind in the third period after they'd given up two quick goals and have won it. Paul Coffey from John Tonelli and Brent Sutter at 12.29 of overtime. What a game. This is one of the 
Best games I've ever seen in my life, believe me. I'll remember this one for a long, long time. I'll tell you, if nothing, I will remember the two-on-one that Poppy broke up. It is on to the Canada Cup final against Sweden. Well, they have given the goal to Bossy. If we can get a look at it once again, Bossy was parked off at the side of the crease, and it may be that he was the one that deflected it in. So it is Bossy who is credited with the goal. This place is Bedlam. Totally unexpected. Let's look at it again and watch for Bossy off to the right of your picture at the goal. Now that's Bossy there. He got a stick on it. And they had a clutch on him. That was Colvin who had the, oh, look at that. Colvin who had the clutch on him, he just got his stick up on it. Boy, you get that tingle down your spine when something like this happens. All right, here's the two on one. Look at this on Colvin. The quickness of Paul Coffey. Played it perfectly, bottled up the middle, and then they went back down and scored. Turning point right there. There it is. They always say win the last game. Please stand by. Let's go down. We're about to get the player of the game. Everybody is standing in the Saddle Dome here in Calgary. They'll write this one down as another great moment in international and Canadian hockey. The 1984 Canada Cup. About five years from now, there'll be 10, 100,000 people that say that they were right here in the Saddle Dome to see it. I'll say. I would imagine there's a lot of happy Swedes, too. You know what their record has been against the Soviets, and they were hoping to play Team Canada, and it's going to be a great, great final. The reaction from the fan as they littered the ice with that goal. My goodness. Oh, there's some tears and some eyes down there. Hey, look at that. You can see it right there on the face of Mikhail Varnikov, among the others. There's Makarov. Oh, uh, they are disappointed. Well, it's not, not they, they played a great hockey game, and there's no doubt about it. There's Mushkin. What could he do? He's the player of the game for the Soviet Union tonight. He had 41 shots on him. And it's not very often the Soviets are in this position when they're on the losing end of the stick, so I don't feel sorry for them one bit. <laughs> Sudden death. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, presenting the Labatt's uh, Player of the Game Award is Mr. Herb England, President and General Manager, Prairie Region, the Labatt Brewing Company Limited. Mr. England. The Labatt's uh, Player of the Game for Team Canada, number 27, John Tonelli. Number 27, John Tonelli will receive an Eskimo carving provided through the courtesy of Esso. camera. Number 24, Sergei Makarov.
We're going to look at it again. There's the check. Tonelli all the night long along those boards. And there's the goal, the deflection at the side of the net by Mike Bossy. And it ends it at 12.29 of the overtime. Coffee and Tonelli drawing the assist. The celebration is on, and it's on to the finals against a very tough Sweden for the Canada Cup. This is Labatt's Canada Cup on CTV. Hockey players and hockey greats. In skates, they chose the legendary tax by CCM. Today, that legend continues in the CCM Ultra Tax. No other skate gives you more performance, comfort, and fit. When you lace up your Ultra Tax, you don't skate alone. You skate with the greats. So go ahead, lace up a legend. Ultra Tax by CCM.